Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, children of the corn, to episode number 13. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Number lucky, number, lucky number 13. Lucky number 13. On the Scarecrow Appreciation Month today, we got the pleasure of having Lucio come back, and we also have Aaron and Wyatt, um, some veterans of the streets, <laughs> with some street cred. So y'all want to introduce yourselves? You want to go first? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I'm, well, I know who this guy I is. Am, we already know me. I am if you don't know who this guy is, yeah. I mean, you I'm, haven't been a haunt. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you all know me, I'm Lucio. I, I'm at Ghost Town Streets. Been there for seven years, and I am um, considered as my character hostel. And I've uh, done that for three years, so here I am. I'm returning for my, the second one. Yeah, yeah second, second one. one. Second one. You're pretty famous good. there, buddy. Yeah. Everybody loves you. God, we love you too. Yeah. Thank you. You're a lovable guy, man. You're a lovable guy. <laughs> he really is. Uh, yeah. uh, my name's Aaron. Um, I prefer dogs over cat. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I am the DJ, right? God, you might eat harmony profile. Uh, no, I. Uh, I was on Ghost Town for five years. Um, I had the opportunity to stay there for five years in Calico and loved every minute of it. Nice. And then uh, I retired in 2016 after five years. And then uh, I was blessed enough to come back. They offered me a spot to be a cast lead. So I was a cast lead for Paranormal last year. Nice. Shout out to my Paranormal fan. We won Maze of the Year last year. Nice. Um, and then I took a step back again because got focused on school and things. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's where I am right now. So I guested it up this year and had a great time watching this guy and everyone party. Yeah. 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 What's going on? I'm Wyatt, uh, otherwise known as Not Scary Farm Ruler. Yeah, other fans out there. Um, I uh, was on Fiesta for one year and then I went over to Ghost Town for three. And then I took a year off this year uh, with Aaron, took to uh, Guest Streets. But yeah, you're part of the streets. Yeah. Better than guest streets, man. Oh, it's like the members of guest streets too. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like a, there too. The freaking the step brothers over here. We're here to fuck shit up. <laughs> we really are. That's like what we said every night before yeah. we went out on the streets. Actually, that was like a time we're coming in. Every time they scan their annual pass, we're here to fuck shit up. They have tuxedos on and everything. They're just like I'm telling you, they would do that too. Yeah, yeah, they're not afraid. Fancy night too. Yeah, fancy night. Yeah, I've seen guys with their turtle night. Yeah, dude, look good, feel good, play good. You know, old gentlemen. We are the bench warmers. <laughs> <laughs> that was an important part of the team, man. I know, man. That's yeah. why. Uh, the bench warmers that came our alley. <laughs> yeah. Although now, because we're, we're designing the jersey for that, we're thinking of calling it KSF bench warmers. No way. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, fire. that's awesome, dude. Yeah. That's super dope. Yeah. yeah. We want to, because we didn't want to. Give one scare zone preference over another. So uh -huh. you got to spread the love equally. Yeah. Because we love all of you. KSF. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Everywhere. That's actually smart. Yeah, that's like, no, I feel like no fans ever no, like, made their own jersey. That's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. The, We're going to do our colors and everything for our channel. And, what colors do you guys have? Uh, it, our channel colors are uh, red, black, and white. Okay. Mostly red and white, but there's a little bit of black in there. That's awesome. Um, and so yeah, we're we're thinking that we were we were in line at like Disneyland last time. I'm just like, oh look at this, this looks cool. Uh, th no, that doesn't look cool. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, well, this needs a little bit of work. We're still deciding if we want to do hockey jerseys, if we want to do football jerseys, if we want to do baseball jerseys. I don't know yet. There's so many options. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize sure. there's so many jerseys. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually cool. a really rad idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I never think of that too. Or you should put like a ghost town color and make it. Up. You guys, you guys are gonna start getting like. Now that's your guys' thing. We don't yeah, want to steal it. Do you haven't earned that one. Yeah, but you know, you, you earn it through sitting there through the Kmart alley. You know? <laughs> we were yeah. unofficial scarecrows because yes. when people would come through the light, they would just see us and get scared. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was even amazed that first time. I was like, whoa, whoa what are you doing here? <laughs> Every time. Every time. Every time. Um, right. So you, got, you had mentioned that you guys were uh, both on Ghost Town. Well, obviously we know you were on Ghost Town. Mm -hmm. um, so what kind of characters did you guys play on Ghost Town? Um, my first year. Um, I when I went and auditioned, um, I wanted to do a specific character, mm -hmm. and I went in to do a horse character, and I had a whole thing you know planned out uh, for my audition, mm -hmm. and I, I I auditioned, and luckily I got it, and uh, they told me, hey, you know, it's your first year, so uh, you know, just I know you want to be a horse, but uh, just get your reins on Ghost Town, no pun intended, <laughs> and uh, just just be a generic like uh, gruesome. Uh, school, or I'm sorry, a, a, a gruesome townsfolk. So I decided to adapt that into being a schoolboy. So I was a schoolboy my first year, and then my second year I got makeup, and they showed me a couple different makeup molds or uh, prosthetic pieces, mm -hmm. 
and uh, down deep in the box they had one that hadn't been used. I recognized it, but it hadn't been used since like 2004 maybe wow. um, as a fox uh, by a girl named Outlaw. And uh, I was like, that looks cool. Can we do like a possum instead? And they were like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I was the possum for four years. Nice. nice. Yes. Uh, for me, my first year on Fiesta, was the generic sugar school. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Which is, by the way, the funniest audition. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> and then when I, when I came over to Ghost Town, I, I had a character in mind for a couple of years. I was the banker of Ghost Town. Thanks. Three years, yeah. So you know, cash and checks. Cash, cash and checks. checks. Breaking that. Cash and checks. Breaking that. You threw out some money during the time, too. I was like, Mr. Bills. Mr. Bills. Mr. Bills. That's freaking tape right there. Dude, dude. Oh, oh, yeah, man. man. All right. That, um, I think because what's good about, what's good about Ghost Town is just such a unique scare zone that they give you the freedom to come up with a character that relates to the lore mm -hmm. of the, the streets. And um, I think that's why it's one of our favorites at the event, just because, in any event in general though, you don't see a lot of events that give you the freedom to kind of walk into your audition. I want to do this, and here's what here's the bio, and then, you know, it's like, okay, we can work with that. Mm -hmm. I think that's so unique because, like I said, not a lot of, like you go to a place like Horror Nights, it's all generic. Like yeah. all scare zones are like either the same thing different things but themed to one thing and it's like I really like that they give you guys the freedom to do um, your kind of own characters because in the long run if you stay there for a while it becomes like an iconic character mm -hmm. you know? and people like know who you are yeah um, and people like will literally send you guys like probably fan art or you know yeah. do this yeah. I don't know <laughs> yeah um, it's just it's just it's really cool that they give you the freedom to do that because a lot of people come in with really great ideas and, yeah. I, and there's a lot of really talented people out there that come mm -hmm. in and it's just like, they come in and throw these ideas out and, you know, usually the first year they're like, well, like like you said, let's let's see how you are out there and then, you know, when you come back the next year, let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think especially in a in Ghost Town too, I mean, across the board, Knott's is an amazing event, right? It's got yeah. amazing people that run it, you know, from the top all the way, all the way to the people that, um, that work in Scare, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, I will say that Ghost Town in particular, like, I mean, I know for me, it was like, Ghost Town was it, right? Mm -hmm. Ghost Town was like the end goal. Top dog. Period. Yeah, it's top dog. Like, you know, we're really spoiled in Ghost Town because just the legacy Ghost Town has, not only creatively, because absolutely, right? You, there's yeah. so much you can do in Ghost Town because you're not limited to like, just having, you know, if you're a clown, you like have to have that red hair, or, like whatever yeah. it is, right? Mm -hmm. um, not that that's not great, but in Ghost Town, man, there's like a never-ending plethora of characters you can choose from or develop, and like you said, there's so much like creativity comes out of there. But like that zone being like not being the first theme park like haunted event, yeah, and then having Ghost Town be like the first area that that took place in. Yeah, yeah. it's the epicenter right there. That's yeah, it. It's, like, it's like the heart of, that's that's the the heart of the right place there, yeah. so that you can put anything towards yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I think I've said before on the, the recent podcast that we we went to like that's why I love being over there. You know, for what, for seven years. Mm -hmm. It's because of you're on trip. seven now. I'm on seven years. Seven years. <laughs> yeah, seven years. Whoa. And, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, we've been there for like what? I was in for five, but man, I'll say you were for eight. This oh, no, this yeah, eight. Eight. yeah, yeah. It would be, it would have been eight for him. Yeah. But yeah, for seven years, it was saying that ghost Whoa. town, and you learn from like there's so many, there's so many possibilities of doing so many characters, and the creativity too. Yeah, is like would we bring like we. I remember us like even not even you guys, but other people would bring out other ideas to like ghost town mm -hmm. with, that they want to bring. Towards the street zone now. Yeah, like, yeah. That's it's so amazing. Mm -hmm. But you know that that take you know it takes a lot of work to do it. Yeah. But it, you know that that is just I, I, I have no words for it. Yeah. But I, uh, that's that's what. Go yeah. ahead. I, that's that's a good point to bring up too for like for anyone that wants to work on. Do you guys ever want to work on? By the way, are you I just do, like I fans? I really do. However, since because I do this channel and I and I cover all the haunts uh -huh. and it's like. You know, filming like pretty much all haunt seasons, like I wouldn't have time to do. Yeah, it would, it would be awful. Do, yeah. do you want to? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if I think of all the circumstances and the stars aligned, yes. Like, cause me and him have already. We were like joking around over the like me and you would be a good deal. Like me and him yeah. can just walk in and just like yeah, good. Yeah, we're two tall ass people, and it's just sure, like yeah. you know, it's like the fucking mountain thing. It's like either we can sign up for mm -hmm. other people to you know get the scare, or me and him can easily just walk around and just. 
be intimidating. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm, yeah. I'm surprised you guys. It, I, I was curious about that. No, yeah, it's been it, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for like years since I first went to when I went back when I first went to Halloween Horror Nights in 2011, mm -hmm. um, and then I went like every year since. Like every year, like my appreciation grew for what these characters do every year. Yeah. yeah. Because it's one of those things where it's like. With a, with an event like Horror Nights, it, it was like okay, they bring you know these properties to life, and like you know I, I'm a big horror, horror movie guy, so like walking through these properties, it was like oh wow, they're bringing it to life. But then you go to an event like Knots, and the, they're bringing original content to their parks every year, um, whether it be a repeat with new like rooms, mm -hmm. which I think is always cool, yeah, um, or a brand new maze in general. Every year the bar is, is set and they always they always destroy that bar. Like it's it's mm -hmm. amazing that what they bring every year. Um, whether like this year was probably my favorite year of Notch, just because not only how many times we've went, but the fact that they had the whole lore of the, the Sarah Marshall, mm -hmm. like the storyline. Like yeah. it, it's been it's been something that's been in Knotts' history like for years now, mm -hmm. and for them to finally give it an origin story, what, what I, I thought was amazing. How immersive yeah. you dive in yeah. from. Going into Origins Maze and then going out to the streets to see all these characters that were affected by this curse, and then going into the hanging to see the story progress. It was like something that I really thought was more immersed this year, and, and how they're slowly kind of tying everything in, which I, I love for events. So, I, I agree with you. Yeah. I, you know, it's amazing too, so like all these new, you know, these new, like, rookies, which mm -hmm. we have like. This year we had like yeah, a, a lot. So there's yeah. a lot of us left last year. A lot, a lot left, and uh, brand a bunch of new people came in. From different zones and, and mazes, mm -hmm. and um, the fact that they they were bring up ideas from like like story story wise, there's different concepts. Yeah, they had um, they were involved with like Sarah Marshall. Yeah, and I was like, well, I could have like thought of this like wow, <laughs> you know. So I'm like re like redoing my story, thinking like, oh, this is like that has to be part of like Sarah Marshall, but yeah. you know, like I I kind of kept it with it. It still goes with like the whole Sarah Marshall. Really curse and yeah so it goes with like other characters are involved with mine yeah but that like i yeah. i always yeah. i always wanted to like that's so amazing how they no that's kind of with the with yeah the story. um and that was something like i said when we went into the event this year in the previous years you know you go to the event you see the icon of the witch you see of course all these different people you know and then you see of course the standard people that you see in ghost town like that are who've become icons throughout the years and Going into this year, it was it, it felt it put more of a story onto just um, you know a witch out for her revenge. Um, rather now it's a witch out for her revenge because they tried to kill her, mm -hmm. and then she spilled this curse into into Calico, and now now you're seeing the effects on everyone, and you're seeing like everyone kind of go through different things. Um, everybody's story uh, has probably changed now because of this lore. And uh, the same thing with um, Origins. Origins really sums it up like perfectly. Now, as you're walking through Origins, you're slowly seeing the town turn. Yeah. And at the end, when you walk out, you see that green light, and boom, you walk out, and you would go usually either back to, I mean, nine out of 10 times people will go back to Calico, and it ties perfectly in. Now yeah. that when you walk out of that maze, this is what That's how the, I like how that ends too, just you, by the end that yeah of that base, you're, 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 you're out and you see like the, yeah you the are conclusion the of what how is the part yeah. of the curse is how everyone is uh equal to that yeah. Yeah. storytelling wise so, i think that maze tied everything in perfectly like, yeah, you said, yeah. you're, like you're a part of that maze you're seeing everything develop and then bam you're actually out in calico itself and you're seeing some of those characters that you saw in the maze mm -hmm. actually out on the streets yeah so that's yeah. really cool oh, yeah. yeah yeah and um and like i said with the hanging this year they wanted to it, further the story so you're kind of seeing the post um the post kind of hanging of what happened with Darren Marshall and you're seeing all these witches come out and you know get in a feud with the hangman mm -hmm. and then you're seeing that whole story unravel and then of course ultimately in the end and this is spoilers if you didn't watch it this year then you know, yeah, yeah it's, it's the, the haunt's over so yeah, it's like on YouTube. it's on youtube now yeah, yeah. YouTube it. and we have a video so yeah watch our video um but if you watch the end of the thing of course ultimately the witch gets her revenge and actually ultimately hangs the hangman okay which i thought was such a, did you guys go on the 40th 2012 I, I may have, I may have gone. So in, in 2012, which kind of piggybacking off that, in 2012, um, in between the first and the last hanging, they actually had a full-on witch hanging. 
Yeah. Where they, they carted her out in the back mm-hmm. and then they brought her under the, the whole thing yep. and they hung the witch. Yeah. The yeah. actual hanging and, of Sarah Marshall. Yeah, they had the hanging of Sarah Marshall for the 40th, which was super cool. Some of us got to be involved in like being on stage and walking out and uh, some of us, you know, messed around in the crowd and whatever, have fun. But um, that was a really cool thing that, that they did. And, and uh, I hope they bring something like that bad news for the 50th. I don't really yeah. know what they have planned, but. Yeah. I know think, 50th is going to be they gotta go big. They gotta go yeah, there's, there's big. something. Yeah. It's like they said. They said yeah. they, they. I know they said before that. Like, well, if Disney is gonna be like big, how they, you know, how Disney yeah. went when they had their fiftieth. Yeah, they're gonna be the same thing. Yeah, in mm-hmm. for the twenty four hours of hunt. Twenty four yeah. hours, hours of hunt. <laughs> <laughs> he can probably do it, but everyone else is like, like that. You can afford that thing. If they get afforded, then hey. Like, I, I, I don't know. What, I have no speculation <laughs> yeah. as far as what they could do. Yeah. Um, but I know it's going to be a, a room. I mean, there's so many, like, theories that come to mind. Like, they can either, if they really schools. want to, I think by that time, all the mazes that have been repeats will officially all be changed. So it will be a full-on new I would, I would like to see one or two. I, honestly, what I would love to see them do is put it up to a fan vote of like the best mazes in Haunt's history and see which one gets the highest one and bring it back and revamp it. That'd be yeah. super cool. Yeah, that'd be dope. I mean, think of like a maze from like 2006. You bring it back now with like the shit we have today. Yeah. As far as yeah. technology oh, yeah. goes, it's, it's more makeup. Oh, into, yeah. Yeah. I'd be, I, I, my first year at Haunt was in 2000. So yeah. I've, been, I've been going since 2000, and I remember those, ma- and again, I'm kind of embellishing in my own mind because I was young, yeah. I was like nine, and I don't remember like super detailed stuff, but I remember being like, oh shit, like this is scary, Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know? No, that was me in like 2008 when I, when I first went, it was like one of those things where it was like, oh, this is, this is cool. Yeah. It yeah. only lasted two hours, but this was cool. Yeah. Yeah. It only lasted was, two hours. I was in fifth grade, so I was like, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. 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 Like, I, so I went through a maze. I was, my first year going was 2009. Okay. Uh, I was scared um, up until um, August of this year. And so this is my first year returning back. I made him go through all right. I made yeah. him go through all Did you go through the stepfather scare box? 2009, do you remember? Was that oh, nine or 10? Was, uh... Do you remember that? It was in Gypsy Camp. I don't remember. No, it was on okay. I went to. I went to. I remember, I, remember, I, remember, I, remember, I only remember two mazes <laughs> off the top of my head. Uh, I think it was called Las Vegas, I believe. Over the oh Las yeah, Vegas. Vegas. That, was, that was the one I went through. That was the one I went. That was the one maze you went through. Into the face. Yeah, that was the one that was. Yes, that was the one that was. Was that the one that was smelled like crap in the middle of the maze? Like there was like crap. I just like I, I like the story. They had like three like, 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 right in the middle. I think I remember that because that's the second time I went, and I actually went through all the mazes. Yeah. And I think I went through, that's when I saw Slaughterhouse. I remember I wanted to go through that quarantine. Quarantine. Yeah, that was there in the morning. morning. I remember that but something one. happened where it was like, I think it shut down for mm-hmm. something, or I don't know what yeah, happened. Yeah, I think they had a couple of effects in that maze that they needed that, that would kind of break, like technical yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, I went through on. quarantine, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Um, there was a club one. A club from, Blood. Yeah. Club Dude, Blood, yeah. Blood was awesome. Through these all, 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 did yeah. all the yeah. nice. Yeah, I mean, there was a couple more that I can't remember off the top of my head now. But I, I do remember in 2008. I was used to do. I didn't yeah. that night. <laughs> You're like, I was out. In between, um, and and this goes back to when I watched, of course, the Origins documentary. Now, it, it, when they talked about it, it brought, it brought back to my head. Um, in 2008, between the hanging shows or even before the hanging shows, they would do slider shows. Yeah. Yeah, I was a part of one. Yeah. I, 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 like, of... I thought those were cool. I don't know why they took them away. Yeah. Well, there's a couple reasons why they took them away. One of them is. Well, to, to be to be honest with you, now they won't have them there because they you know they spend so much money to revamp that area where yeah. the hanging stage used to be. Yeah, and then also um, just that ground is almost unslidable for a slider show mm-hmm. yeah. to have yeah. that yeah. speed and stuff like that. Um, back then, it used to be different type of concrete, which was a little bit smoother. Yeah, um, and then I think that there was an injury involved too, where like they they had to kind of not veer away from that, but yeah. I think 2012 was the last of the slider shows, and I was, was I was it? lucky enough to be in them. No, yeah, it was, it was a year before that. I came. <laughs> yeah, because after that they changed the ground, I think. Yes, more like they a, did. More like a like yeah, a it's more of a, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's rough. Yeah, no, yeah, I've, 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 we've talked to scare actors this uh, this year, and I and I've said like, how do you guys fucking slide on that? They're like, oh, we're terrified. Just buy but a ton. Like, yeah, they're like, they're not long slides. You're just down. You're basically just falling. Yeah, you know. Like just trading traps every night. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But the Slider shows are really cool to be a part of, especially like being a fan prior yeah. and then seeing Slider shows and seeing like some of the greats and then being with some of them and staring with them and, and, and doing the Slider show was like 
kind of surreal. Well, that was one of the things that like really got me into sliding at that point. Like, mm -hmm. I, I like me myself. I probably can't do it now because since my ankle injury, I probably can't do it. But just watching people do it, it's like I've said it time and time again. It's a fucking sport. Yeah, you know, I mean, definitely, oh, yeah. definitely. It's, 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 it's a lot of sport. work if you put if you put a lot of time to it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's a sport. It's, it's a sport. definitely you're getting a workout when doing it, mm -hmm. and the shit that you have, like a lot of people can do. Mm -hmm. It's like I look at it, I'm like, I sure as hell can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I sure as hell. It takes practice, it. bravery, and a little bit of stupidity. I think. Yeah, um, yeah. To, to be honest, that's if I was true. pre like, if I was like before I broke my ankle and had the surgery, like I'd be like, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> but like since I broke my ankle, it's like everything I do, everything I like go to everywhere I go, I'm just like, Ooh, it, it, hurt, it hurts. It hurts. Yeah, I'll yeah. Watch. <laughs> no, no, I mean, like like I said, to everyone, right? Knots doesn't pay your HMO. You gotta be. You gotta take care of yourself first. Yeah. You know, yeah. And it's true. Like yeah. you know, and and I've seen some gnarly injuries. Oh. I've seen. Some, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I, dude, I, yeah. I, I, even at the rink, I've seen some gnarly injuries. Mm -hmm. There was this. There was this guy named Edgar that used to be in uh, Haunt for a while, and oh. then he, me and him were like, it was a bunch of people at slime practice or the chanting rink, and um, this guy in the floor is really slippery. I don't know what they do to it, but it's wax. Wax. It's wax. Wax. <laughs> it's wax. wax. wax works, and, man. Yeah, and um, they. <laughs> That shit is like you it glides like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, yeah. you get yeah. up Once. and you like do a little Michael Jackson thriller dance for like another two feet without yeah. moving. <laughs> it's like you, slide. you can run and slide with your feet. Yeah, you only need you on your knees. You yeah, just you hover yeah. over with your uh, well, we, we he had a story of someone caught their dog and it was like Scooby Doo. Like, Scooby Doo <laughs> trying to like Bambi on ice. Bambi on ice. So he um, he after he does uh, like a slide, we were doing like exercises and he did one. Got up, lost his balance. Like seriously, it was like a Bambi on ice, and he drops his face on the floor. This guy ended up having like like uh, full on, full on, just like eight concrete. Yeah. Oh damn. And he ended up having like um, stitches on top of his eyebrows. I can relate to that. Bleeding. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah. I'm so glad. I mean, I'm glad. I, I mean, I got shit. I got burned parts, like burned skin. Say, what's, the, what's the worst injury that happened to you? I, I, I think for you, when I, got, I got a full on concussion. What I think is a concussion. Yeah. I never got checked for it, but I didn't go to sleep that night just in case. He's um, <laughs> <laughs> gonna go to sleep. He wakes up. He doesn't wake up. <laughs> I did. And it was like a Saturday night, dude. I'm like spent. But anyway, I was scaring. You know the fountain in front of CS, in front of camp, yeah, where the line kind of is for uh, like like, pumpkin like eater. Yeah, yeah. 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 One so it's got a little tunnel underneath it. And like back in that time, like the line, like uh, we were allowed to like. It was before Forsaken Lake was in. Mm -hmm. So we had Ghost Town was like. We could go all the way back to like Paranormal Line, all the way back to Western Entrance, all of yeah, Silver Bullet. Yeah. We could like unleash the leads and just put miles up. Mm -hmm. And uh, the front entrance was a good to go place too. We could just go scare. So me and my buddy James were scaring some chick up in the front of the of the uh, of the park toward the end of the night, being a holes because that's when they're all tired and that's the best time to get people because they're like I'm fucking over it. And I'm like all right, if I scare you, if I can't scare you. I'm gonna make you laugh, and if I can't make you laugh, I'm gonna annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> just go to the our bench at 10 p.m. This guy will be knocked out, and you can just get scared now. You're asleep? <laughs> <laughs> you were For real? Sleep? Oh, you did not? I did not know this until like after I. I've been that, telling so. every character we we get on the podcast about this, just so for next year they can. For real? You're constantly coming. In. It could be like a train of people that just come every now and then. Like after he comes, fucking Merrick's gonna walk through, and then fucking the she yeah, gonna walk through. Next, 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 next. That's a little key, kind of dope, dude. They're gonna sign some shit on your head though. Watch out, because you know, I would work. I would bring a marker out there and fuck around. Yeah. Like hundred percent, I would do that without a doubt. You have a hundred. like a wanted sign right there. there. If I ever, if I ever call him back, I will. Yeah. Um, but I was. Scaring me and my buddy James were scaring this girl, and she ran through that little tunnel by the fountain. Oof. Yeah. And she went running through, and then my buddy James went running through, and then I went running through, and I'm just, you know, yelling around, flying around, and I'm ducking to get under this thing, and I come up too quick, and I hit my head on the roof of the rock, and I put myself back on my ass, and uh, yeah, I saw like stars, like full on cartoon, man. I was oh, like, shit. Yeah, my buddy James had helped me up. He's like, you okay? And I'm like, no, definitely not okay. No, not but we had to finish the chase because she was still scared and I couldn't let her know that I was hurt. So we kept going and we scared her and then I walked to the back and I I almost passed out. It was bad. 
But, you know, I got some bananas in me. I put some water <laughs> yes. in me. Kids, Kids bananas. It was like 11.30. Some chicken tender quesadilla on me. Yeah. <laughs> I have a quarrel with that, by yeah. the way. With the I have a story about that, too. With I'm going to, like, about literally, got... like, make you break character next year. Just be like, here's my card. Buy me a fucking chicken tender. Yeah, I, used, yeah, I'm like... I used to work there in 2016, so I know, like, all Oh, the yeah, you know the vibes. Yeah, yeah, I know all the food there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I told this guy, I was like, they have this thing called a chicken tender quesadilla. And, like, my cousin worked there, so I was like, hey. Like, Yo, gotcha. Loki gotcha. dude, it's a tangent. I have a beef with the dude that used to run Cruise Nest <laughs> because the dude that used to run Cruise Nest, man, they make chicken case chicken tender quesadillas, That's which thing. you're aware of, yeah. you're aware of, but yeah, they make yeah, this. Yeah. And I would go up to this dude at the beginning of the night and I'd be like, Well man, like, can you just chop up some chicken case or some chin tenders and put it in the grilled cheese? And they're like, No, that's not on the menu. And I was like, Dog, just chop them up. <laughs> But like I'm very polite, yeah. and like, ple- and I'm in a, the possum face, so I kind of look ridiculous. <laughs> like I'm not intimidating. I'm like very no, I'm not out there yet. I'm just like, what up, man? Can I have like? Not only the possum face, but his hair's like fucking yeah, my white hair's like out. eight feet high, and I'm <laughs> yeah. shit coming out of my mouth. And I'm like, can I just have no? It's not on the menu. We can't do it. And I'm like, dude, they do it at Lakeside. Like, can you just do it? And he's like, no, we can't do that. And I'm like, hey, can you just give me both separate things, and I'll just do it myself? <laughs> Like protest and they're like, well, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I am doing it. Yeah, like that would be, be for the week, dude. Was that? Yeah, that, yeah. It I, was great, it's man. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it was awesome. But this guy wanted. Uh, you want me to tell the story? We got, got we got the, the chicken quesadilla. Yeah, I don't really know what you're gonna yeah. say, but yeah, go for I don't it. Know. Go for it. We we went. Well, we. Oh, we going down trouble. Be, <laughs> we almost got in trouble, but like we, yeah. I was scared to get we in did. trouble. We did down trouble. Yeah, probably did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, did. Oh, 2016. Yeah. So, um, well, he was like, "Yo, I'm hungry," because like I think we ran together, me yeah, and you, yeah. just me and you. Yeah, we were tearing through. And then um, after uh, we we're about to go on break, and then he goes, "All right, I'm about to go food, grab food." I was like, "Cool." Walked into like cruise nest, mm-hmm. and he goes like, "Hey, do you have everything everything ready?" I was like, "Well, I I have my, I have my master," and so I was like, "I can why?" He goes. We're about to go to the carnival. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what? You th-? I'm like, we're, no, no, dude, we're not going to scare them. We're just going to go to the break room. I was like, we're going to the break room. <laughs> but like, he goes, but we have cruise nests here. He goes, they don't serve the chicken uh, quesadilla. No, the chicken grilled cheese. So chicken grilled cheese. He goes, let's. I, they serve it over there pretty well, so let's go. Yep. I would I assume like, so because that cruise says they don't serve it at all. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm like, like or, uh, I'm like sure, but like I'm like, dude, I'm freaking out. But like, I he goes, dude, it's all right. I know what to do. I was like, I was like, all right, cool, man. You're you're Aaron Frame, okay? Let's go. That's all I had my freaking wallet, my big fat wallet during the time, and then we're just like walking. He goes, all right. You have to be in character, though. It, we we are not scaring one. I was like, cool. They were walking through, and but like, you see him just walking through like normal as his character. You see me <laughs> freaking t- like I can't. You're I'm nervous. freaking nervous hell because like I'm like I'm the guy with the strictest to the rules, and I'm like, I know you were. I'm like, like, like I'm like I'm the guy who's like I'm not gonna sit here and do all this sh- <laughs> like get get in trouble just for like. Us game like a chicken grilled cheese. Yeah, your character is insane. I was, yeah. willing to, I was really willing to risk that. Yeah, man. I was oh, like, do you really risk that time? Like, if you cheese, wanted to get yeah, fired for anything, it's for for a grilled cheese, cheese. Yeah, <laughs> chicken, chicken grilled chips, cheese, man. chicken chips. Yeah. So he goes, and we, there was like an upstairs of the break room, and he goes like, all right, you have to be in character, so because people will see you from the top. Yeah. Then you have to walk upstairs, and guests can see you walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. <laughs> You see him, you see me just in character, but we like were hunching down, but you see him, his he was posing just like this and walking up like that as a fucking possum. I'm like, this I couldn't stop laughing, but dude, oh, have all this for a fucking chicken grilled cheese. Yo, I was committed to that. <laughs> yeah, because the the it was line mission impossible. At that point yeah. it was still boomerang. So like the line for Boomerang could see like the stairway going up to yeah. the inside break room, so like, you had to stay in character. That would bother me. Yeah, I would see clowns just chilling there, yeah, smoking, like, yeah, and the people like, would be waving at him and yeah. I'm like, Don't yeah. do it here. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I don't know, though. it looked like a load like a loading drop off or yeah, something. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like the underbelly of knots. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. cause at, at uh, Lakeside there's a big ass window that like you can see outside of the Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, people are just seeing Monsters just down in hot dogs, and especially like, at night when the lights weird. are on, like you can see it. Like, yeah, during yeah. the day, it's fine because you can't. The windows like 
it's tinted and the, and the yeah. sun's beating down. So you can't see. <laughs> I do want to say that grilled cheese was dope, right? Yeah. 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 You know, I was like, do you want one? I was like, Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I came to this part. The, the, the like, chef was dope. I got there. I'm like, what yeah, the you know, you know, He comes in. He's like, yo, I know him too. I'm like, yeah, he was man, dope, I'm about man. to get fired. Yeah. This. <laughs> and, I think, and I think we did. Uh, we got in trouble in some fashion. Yeah, because all I know is the nets. Was it possible? Pasta locked locked in all of us. Yeah. I think we all walked in. You guys on break? Yeah, guys are on break. I was like, yeah, we are. Oh shit! We are. We are on break. On break. Oh. And then the nuts, she, she was very, oh, by, by the way, you guys know who I mean, Brandy and Pasta are? They basically run the event. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. yeah, awesome people. Shout out to them. Like, they're phenomenal people. Dude. You guys run the um, Yeah, so they're, well. they're awesome. I worked yeah. side by side with last year's Cast League. They're, they're super, super yeah, nice. Yeah, the, uh, the yeah. nicest, yeah. coolest people. Nice. Throughout the, yeah, throughout the, the entire thing, we know those are the two names I've heard a lot. They're, they're, yeah. they're super dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, yeah, and all I know, I, we didn't get yelled at. All I know is the next day at the Ghost Town meeting. We were like, all right, we don't know who did it, but no more breaking in the carnival break room. We were like, oh, like, oh we're, 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 who's doing that? Yeah, well, like, who's doing that? I was oh, like, guys. I was sitting there like, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> and then they walk, like, they walk out the door pissed. Damn it! God damn it! Dude, I was pissed because I knew, I knew it was like October second. I'm like, you tell me for the rest of the run, I can't get grilled cheese with fucking chicken tenders in it. No, he's gonna show up. He's gonna, he's gonna show up like super early just to go get like a bunch of them. And then yeah, just, yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, yeah. You, you probably yeah. did. No, I was just nice. I was like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, hey, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go again. I was like, yeah, dude, I'm good. <laughs> I was like, yo, I got that chicken quesadilla they have over there. I'm, I'm glad, but you kept coming back, which means you followed the rules, which means you kept getting hired. Yeah, we kept getting hired. <laughs> that's good. Man. I mean, I probably was a trouble. I might have been a troublemaker for like at times, but that's no, you're wild. We have cool. monster food shenanigans right there. We haven't heard any of those stories. Oh yeah, god! Not. Oh bro! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think you gotta do. Are you talking about backstage or on stage? I should tell you some shit. Now we used to do. We heard some on stage stories that were pretty funny. Yeah. yeah let me tell you, man. Do you know what a <laughs> do you know what a VIP maze is? <laughs> Yeah. No, oh, you know, yeah. not know what that is? Okay, cool. Oh. So, check this out. This is, well, this was the night I almost actually got fully fired, but I, again, <laughs> shout out to Pasta for for appreciating me. I love you. If you watch this Pasta, I love you. You're First awesome. and foremost, if it's what I think, I was only part of it if it was who fell for it. Okay, <laughs> so, what's up? Ooh, ooh, I was only part of it for like a minute. And I'm just going to tell you the part of where I got in trouble from, from my point of view. <laughs> Your boy was just from VIP, and I was like, oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> so... It was like hot only night. It was the last night of hot, or maybe the second to last night. And do you guys know who Spaz is? I've heard the name. Heard the Yo, name. you gotta get that guy on the show. Yeah. That guy, and this is just my opinion. That guy's the best monster to ever touch hot. Period. Yeah. That guy's god. He has a lot of lot of stories. That guy's that god, and back. and he's the one that trained me. Like I'm full in like in debt to him. Like he made me who I am. That guy's. Yeah, you gotta get him on the show. That guy is <laughs> definitely probably the most energetic monster. He, he he's. Air Jack to this day too, and he's yeah, on, he, um, he's one a of the member loudest of K- people you ever. Yeah. On a, he's a member of the nicest, K- and nicest, nicest, but Air Jack guy, and he's like what? The guy's like in his forties with two kids married, and like <laughs> I used to, we were tired. Well, there it is, right there. That's where he takes it all up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we retired the same year in twenty sixteen, and like he was like my mentor and taught me everything, and. Like he's the dude that like we would roll and do like 15, 16 mile nights out there just nice. going. Mm. So he's like standard to me for energy. That guy's insane. But anyway, and a troublemaker and a and a twenty something year vet. <laughs> he's been he's been sea filed like two yeah, times and came back yeah, every single year. Every single year. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, he, he goes, you know, Aaron, I got an idea, let's do a VIP maze, and I'm like, I'm in. Let's, I'll get like, it. let's party, dude. And he goes, Okay, so the idea was, do you guys know where Sad Eye Joe is? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so behind Sad Eye Joe right there, that's where that that's where the VIP maze is gonna be. So the <laughs> idea was we had a whole sign made and we called the maze up. Oh my god. We, yeah, we called it infested instead of infected. <laughs> so it was infected uh Charlie route. Because at that year it was in camp and they had the Alpha <laughs> and Beta or Bravo. Yeah. <laughs> so we did Charlie route. And the idea was, okay, we'll tell everyone, no one like this isn't like an official thing, but at, at 1030 everyone meet that stage and we're all go and shove 50 monsters where Mad Eye Joe is and just walk guests through and see you know, 80 of us like ah! and that's it. It's not on the maps or anything like that. So he was like, alright. And they go, well, I was like, alright Gary, what do you need me to do? And he's like, uh, I need someone to get the line going, someone that's loud, and I'm like, I'm game, let's do it. So I get someone's not huge, bro. Yeah, bro. You got so, it. He's got this going. Go so on. I uh 
This was a long time ago. I don't condone anyone doing this because I don't want you all to get in trouble. The one and done. Yeah, luckily I was. I, was I just anyway. you already got me as you guys went all the way to make a sign. Oh yeah, man. We, we I was did like, it. oh my. Gosh, oh, we did it. Oh, it gets, it gets better, got, bro. Yeah, so you guys got the sign out of like the maze signs that they have. Yeah, we got one made, cube. man. Yeah. They would get that from. Mm -hmm. uh, we just... even had a blackout holding the sign. We were, he was on break. And we were like, oh, you like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He was, eating, he was eating food and we're like, yo, Doc, can you like, he was like, yeah, man, I'm almost off. Like, cool, man, fuck it. So we're there and it was the year the Tritsters were there, right? Yeah. So they were like, oh, we want to be involved and we're like, cool. So my job was to get the line going. And we ran out there and I jumped on the planner that like, right before you walk into that where Mad Eye Joe is, there's a planner there. So yeah. I jumped on up on that and I start yelling and I'm like, all right, guys, we got a VIP mates tonight, one night only here, not scary far, not the person. So I got a line, and this is where I kind of got in trouble from. I got a line going from there all the way down to like Ghost Rider entrance. Oh, shit. All the way down, dude. And all the way down there, which was probably got in trouble. I wasn't aware that this was a fire hazard, but it was. And so, you know, and I'm there and I'm like, all right, VIP maze, this is infested. And the crowd's like, all right, it's a maze, let's do it. Let's do it. Jump and on I have a clipboard and I'm telling people, I'm telling people like, yo, are you on the list? Do you have a reservation time? And they're like, no. And I'm like, and I have to squeeze you in. I don't know. <laughs> and, and this dude had a full on funnel cake. His girlfriend had a full on funnel cake. And I was like, listen, man, if you give me the funnel cake, I'll let you in. And I looked at his girlfriend, he looked at the funnel cake. And he's like, babe, I get <laughs> And I was like, Yo, <laughs> I got a full phone cake. And then, uh, yeah, and then and then we were getting groups of like 12. We were like, oh, you guys gotta go through. We don't have guns, so you gotta like finger blast them, monster. Finger blast them. <laughs> and walk in the tiger and shoot them. And then the tricksters would take him through that little crypt, like 15 feet of room. And there would be like 80 of them back there. like. <laughs> And then they'd walk out and then we'd be like, all right, bye, have a good night. Yeah. And that's it. And some people were pissed and some people were happy and like, because it wasn't all on right. the map. And and then, yeah, I got, I, we all kind of got, we got blown up. I was, that, but, I yeah. remember like for that point, uh, do you, were you there? When you I, was were? Fiesta. Fiesta. Yeah, Fiesta. I was in Fiesta. I was in Fiesta. So I, I did, he, what they did, because like, I, uh, I guess Gary told me. Yeah. And then you, and then you told me too, like, well, we're going to do a VIP maze. I was like, oh, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> because this is when I was like, not like the hostile character I was. I think I was like a different, like, you were like coming like, into it. Like, why coming in? I was coming in. I was coming in. I was coming in. You trust me. I was Yeah, why it's like Fiesta Village? Where? Yeah. What? No. But, well, you have you had a night for the riot night. Yeah. So oh, which yeah. we're getting that minute. Riot, yeah. Right. Was, um, so <laughs> yeah, I remember him coming out of that aftermath. Of that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're like you okay? Can finish. <laughs> He goes there. He told them like, "Cool." Then I thought it was actual thing. Like Gary was like, uh, you know, had the whole idea because he's like, "You stop being the head on board." Cool. He's like, "Manager's on board. This is like cool thing." And then he goes, "Here, here's some glow sticks." And then like you have to like shake it in front of everyone, just scare them. I was like, "Cool." Then I had two little glow sticks, and I was like shaking right from. I was like, "Ah!" And then right when that happened, I see a flashlight running, and I see Posse. She goes, "Everyone, go backstage!" It was like. Oh, <laughs> I, I threw I it up in the it. air and I fucking, I booked it and booked it right on stage and then, um... Do you, you know, know if anyone, you know if anyone filmed it? No, I, I don't think... Okay, so there have, if you Google it, there have been prior VIP mazes in the yeah. history of Haunt. They're not, okay, <laughs> yeah. they happen from time to time. I think there's a video of one in, in CS when it, way back in the day. There's one from Knott's. Yeah, we did the yeah, underwater, we did the underwater rave maze. Yeah, uh, yeah. We did the lumberjack maze way back then. Wait, I never water rave maze? Yeah, yeah, that was like my first year, I think, and they all had glow sticks, and someone brought a little boombox and was playing rave music. People just walked there and it was like a club. <laughs> <laughs> I think the one in 2013 or 14, they had one with... Oh, we did the, the soft puppet the maze. So you no, know, I think, no, that's the end of like the maze. That we had Vi in a dress. <laughs> Why as a spider, a spider face mask, and he'll come out just because he had long hair to it. I don't know if you know Vi Lopez. No. Vi is one of another our great uh, monster, another great monster, <laughs> and um, <coughs> shout out to him though too. Yeah, and he, guy. um, he, <laughs> he, they told him like wear a dress. Yeah, I remember. And you have to come out with your like your hair just long, and then you have the spider face, and you're just like because we did have a spider like woman that's you know yeah. that's this year too throughout like years of haunt. And so he'll come out as like a girl and then he'll yell as a guy. He was like, get out of my sight! <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I remember, do you remember that? Do you remember the sock puppets? I don't know. Well, 
you always put salt in the barnyard sub, salt for the maze? I think I remember. When was that? Like, that was one of my years. Listen, so again, if you're anyone watching, I don't condone you doing this. Yeah, don't do trouble. this at all, yeah, please. No, yeah, any maze don't people, do too, that are going through street. And again, street. I want to shout out to Pasta for rehiring me. I appreciate you. I re- appreciate she, you, she, too. She, she still, yeah, she still gives yeah. me crap it's about that. It's about It's a good story. It's one of these good stories that we like. We love to talk about them. Just yeah, give bro, talk about your riot night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Riot, 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 yeah, riot, riot, yeah, that was riot. Uh, the first time I was on Fiesta, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's when, it, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you went to Haunt, have you on Haunt like every year consistently? Since 2012. Since 2012, okay, so you remember how Fiesta used to have like the dance party? Yeah, the scare zone slash the party, yeah. It's still a dance party, right? It's still a dance party, but yeah, it was, it's not my favorite dance, but yeah. In the Fiesta area, they had like it was already a scare zone, Fiesta de los Muertos, and then they had a DJ in there. You know, like a Friday and Saturday night, come like nine, ten o'clock, that place is pretty popping with teenagers. Like it, it would just like progressively get worse. Yeah. So high school dance, right? No, it literally turned into that. Like yeah. they had security, they're just kind of like sitting there, like whatever. And it's it's a pretty small scare zone. We had from at that my the year I was there was infected still, so we had uh, basically almost up to where campfire infected ended, and then we had to the train tracks for Supreme Scream. And then Ghost yeah, Town was like, like right next to the so so nice. so it was a tiny zone. So yeah, you were doing laps. It was pretty yeah, pretty easy to do it. Yeah. So yeah. at that point, I had uh, my boys Johnny and Asai with me. Shout out to them, two uh, two of my favorite people to scare with. But it was three of us. We were always just doing stupid shit out there, getting in trouble like we <laughs> normally would. But uh, you know, we we come up on we're coming up past the the fry shop, like going towards Jaguar, and all of a sudden you did, there's a giant commotion. At that point, we're like, okay, whatever. It's a normal night over there. And one of the chairs, <laughs> the metal chairs comes flying yeah. over. <laughs> we just kind of look at each other like, yo, yo. Like, well, let's go figure out what's going on. Yeah. So we're in there and it's a full on just brawl going at each other. Like it's just everyone's almost like almost like a mosh pit. Yeah. And we're we're in the middle of there. I'm I jump up on a chair and I'm like screaming at them. <laughs> I'm like, we're just in it. We're in super stuck. All of a sudden, just. <laughs> I just see why I do it too. Man, a flashlight hits us. Boom, and it's our cast at the time, Roman. Get in, come to the room, walk over. And I'm like, oh shit! He's like, just get in the break room, go. So we all go in the break room. Yeah, until they they figured it settled out. But yeah, and it was a full on just brawl going at it. Turns out, yeah, security like, yeah, it was over like some girl like dancing with another guy. It was like this giant thing. But yeah, for like a full on 15 minutes, it was turned into a giant brawl That's over hilarious. there. But yeah, it was no, right was... Uh, right there in the middle of the epicenter. And I had to be. Yeah, <laughs> we well, came in into like our because we had our own break room area, like our own area. Yeah, for, like, used to, to break to have a break, and yeah. then. He came out, he's like, there is a riot! I was so stoked. <laughs> there was like, a riot! I was like, where? He goes, like, nice! Nice, where? I was like, we just have a VIP. Yeah, <laughs> VIP yeah. man, he's going on. Yeah, no, that was... Because <laughs> we had, he came with the great story. VIP man. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Being the big hot fan, yeah. I knew about this. I was yeah. pretty bummed about that. But we had our fun at Fiesta. Yeah, yeah for you know, sure, dude. I'm happy oh, no, if I would have saw that bro, I would have been scared. Like, fuck him! Oh, dude, it was, it was just like, get out of here. Yeah, we were right there. Yeah, I just get a magic quiet bitch. with his red eyes and his skull mask. He's like, oh, yeah. do it! <laughs> you're, you're, the, the rule for Monster and Knots is to be in character. And to be entertaining, yeah. So as long as you're doing that, yeah, 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 I was doing that. He was doing both. He was scared. He was scaring people. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. You're in character. You're in character and he was like, like ah! Ah! <laughs> so you're doing your job description by doing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Doing I think watch. I think one of the hardest things with that too is like you have you have somebody that like and so in Ghost Town like we have like our characters. We yeah. have you know you have Hosto, We have the possum. Like, it's it's easy to like develop that character. And yeah, keep going with it. I went in my audition 2015. I had this character for the banker set, like for Ghost Town. I'm super. Sick. I'm the first one in there. Like I have been, like I've been a Haunt fan since 2009, but since 2010, everything has led up to yeah, this moment. 2010, I started doing updates on YouTube, and like, I was like everyone. I became part of the Haunt like community super quick. So yeah. it was like I was ready. First one in there. I'm stoked. I'm like I want to audition for Ghost Town. Sorry, we don't got any spots. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, okay. Well, what else we got? And they're like. Like, 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 flip open. I'm like, I'm not mind. I'm like, I can do boardwalking. Totally can do that. And at that point, that's when was CS a thing? 25th? No, nah, I think no. Still in yeah. yeah. So they were like, all right, yeah, we got we got a sure sure school position in Fiesta. Show us. In my mind, I was like, how do I do a fucking sugar in, school? In the span of like seconds, I like jumped right into it. But like, I still don't know what I did in that audition as a sugar school. So I'm like, how, first of all, how the fuck are you supposed to act as a sugar school? Yeah. I just went for it. Somehow got it. But that's the thing. Like, as long as I was in character, there was no specification of how I was supposed to act. Go ahead. Yeah. I was going to ask. 
do you have like a funny audition story? Because I know you guys don't have to audition anymore, which is a cool thing. Yeah. But by the time I left, we had to re-audition every year. Yeah. 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 We did it. Bring so that. Back. Sorry, from what I heard, so they're bringing that back again. They st- they stopped doing, doing it. So they stopped doing it in um, twenty seventeen. It was a year after I left. Yeah. I year after like, I yeah. Twenty seventeen. So I giant giant play brought this whole idea of like you know act characters that did really good for like their work they get to do this rehire status yeah. and then if like people that you know did not do, do so good they have to do uh audition maze yeah. and then you know a front a, a so on a sort forth yeah, but they had a new thing i think it started at last year that if rookies did street uh streets this first year they have to re-audition yeah. the second year. the first year that you're on streets you have to re-audition yeah. and come back mm. your second year so it's gonna be a lot of people on this coast and like we've heard such good like uh for example jen she's like like everybody's biggest thing i think coming back to streets is like they want to slide Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. everybody's biggest thing. And Jen, yeah. we talked to Jen, she's like, I don't care if I slide, I just want to get my character back. I just yeah. want to go back on the streets. I don't care if I slide at all. Mm-hmm. She goes, that's the least yeah. in my work. She's like, I just, I will be happy if I'm back on those. I things. think if I was, yeah. that's yeah. my, that was my uh, whole, like, uh, goal too, was to be back in yeah. Ghost Town. Yeah. Like, I didn't care how I, like, if I had to audition a few times or whatever, uh, that was my, like I, that was my goal. I was like, I wanted to be back with Ghost Town because I was so like uh, fired up from it. Like mm-hmm. I like I met a lot of great people like them, and we, which we'll get into how we met, and um, <laughs> yeah. Then, but like I, I think that's like it was the best thing though. Um, like what was what was I saying? Like he, like pe- how Jen, like people were wanting to slide in next year. You know, like they. That's yeah. That's all like goal to do. But yeah. you know, for me, it was just. I think just I get went back to in, get in, back, get back, back in. in. Yeah. Um, from so how to like get back from like like how I did auditions. Like I don't really have a funny one, but um, I just don't know how you I think yeah. I don't know how you um, audition. I never got to be in the room. With you. Um, I, I think the guys... first year for mine um, was I I think I I auditioned for the streets because my buddy Johnny Warner told me like. Just go on. There was two sides. Mm-hmm. There was two doors. There was like you had the maze and you had the streets. They're like if you don't get the streets, then they'll put you in the maze one. Mm-hmm. So it's like so you can. Those it doesn't matter. Just do whatever you you can. I was like cool, and um, I was like, and I was gonna say this is like my first year, and I'm done. I'm did because I don't know nothing about <laughs> not scared from. I don't know nothing about it. Like I was I was scared from it. Like going through like as like when I was a teenager, but. I was like, eh, it's like a like one time gig and I'm done. And um, so they told me like to do like my, like just do a gruesome character. And then they told me like, hey, can you play a fiesta like gruesome <laughs> character? And I did the loudest like scream ever, but like I was clapping my hands as if <laughs> in the air and I was doing the little like ch- uh, Mexican <laughs> chant. That's and when I was. Loud and <laughs> I right after I just made myself completely just red. I was like, I'm so I'm so embarrassed by this. I'm like, I'm not gonna get this at all. And then they told me like in a few weeks they said like, oh yeah, you're back in Ghost Town. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, no, no, this was oh yeah, my sorry, th- this was the sec the second year because the second year I was really scared, kind of nervous too. Yeah. But my first year they but they um they told me like, oh, okay, like right after I did that whole. Like that, um, the uh, Fiesta character I did. And then they're like, "Oh, uh, here, um, do you want a Scare Force um, character?" I was like, "Scare Force." They're like, "Oh, it's just a marketing character. They go in and they'll put you in like different events, but you'll be in streets." I was like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> and they said, "Well, this is the second to last one, though, so you'll be a werewolf character," which I wasn't. <laughs> so it wasn't. Yeah. They gave me like this gruesome, like, ball head character that I had to wear like a bandit hat. And um, they, but like, I was, I only did two events. I did, I remember doing a Cal Poly event, and I did a, um, a Cal Poly event, and I did the whole. Uh, Is that like, like a roadshow promotion kind yeah, of thing? It's just yeah, it's like, nice. yeah, roadshow promotion. They, I did one in, um, like, only in Costa Mesa, like a swap meet in yeah. Costa Mesa. 
Yeah. And that, that was it. But they kept on putting me in Ghost Town. Mm -hmm. They that that was my I think that was my direct like uh, scare zone to go to because everyone had like people will go to like Ghost uh, Ghost Town to like Carnival. So yeah. when people swap out, I guess they wanted me to stay at Ghost Town. And then they had another guy named Mike, which is still there to this day. He plays a lion. Um, he oh. um, he was in. Uh, boardwalk yeah. and they put him boardwalk he was there ever since wow yeah so he's kind of like he had the same like he started the same year as me yeah so it's kind of crazy. we we i remember seeing him uh i saw him like i think on two weeks ago i think i remember uh, the back of those yeah. when i used to do those like road things and they used to drive around with the hearse didn't they yeah no it's yeah. Just, it's, I, it's I, I was a good story i got it i drove i got to like drive the with hearse. the hearse, yeah, and yeah, it was a bitch and hearse. No, yeah, the, it, it, yeah. Like you said it's like a road show. Like, no, was a couple different versions. Yeah, they'll we'll, we'll still do it, like just to get promotion and like yeah. get word out. Remember the monster like, truck? Yeah, you remember the monster truck? Yeah, the monster truck. The only promotion that I've seen, like that I saw this year, was at Midsummer Scream. Yeah, and they had like all the like the main big characters there, like the drivers. Yeah, like, that was told. That's totally new. That came that's yeah. I thought it was a haunted event. I, they didn't want to cast State Fuller to yeah. this year. Where they just yeah. set up a booth. And they set up a booth, monsters, and, monsters and they like pass out like flowers. Yeah. It's like certain off tickets. Yeah, yeah. just get people promoted. But yeah, yeah. Uh, my first year um, when I was on Fiesta, he kind of like talked me into getting. You know like, how they do like the pass all the preview event? And there's always yeah. monsters there. So I did it my first year. Did it in 2015. Uh, but while we were working that, one of the market people came up and was like, hey, we need people for like an event two days from now. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want to like, represent Fiesta? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I think okay. we're going to do, like, I knew that there's road shows. So we have uh, my buddy James from, uh, that we've talked about, <laughs> he's, he's representing Ghost Town. Yeah, but yourself, <laughs> yes, James. Just yeah. James. Yeah. James Bissell. And then, uh, our buddy Elijah, that's, he's one of the bats, <laughs> but he, he represented uh, Carnival. Yeah. So yeah, the three of us, you know, we get to knots, you know, we're thinking, okay, whatever, like, hearse, cool. We get in full makeup, have everything ready, pile into the back of like a Toyota Corolla. Like, <laughs> we're sitting there like full pads, everything like just this, like, all right, well. This me like this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> we go down the five freeway at just, just dead stop traffic. Like it, we're going down to like, I think it was like Laguna Beach or whatever, yeah. or somewhere deep down. So we're just sitting in traffic. Windows aren't tinted, so you can just literally like just pan over and just start. It's one of those things where you're like. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> So we get to this place. Well, you got, you got, he also was texting me like the girl that's driving this is like a marketing girl, and she's like so awkward that she doesn't want to know what to do. Yeah, she's got, like, eight monsters in the car, <laughs> and we're like talking like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah, we're trying to talk to her. She's like, "Uh." uh. <laughs> So we pull up to this restaurant. Oh, that's so much fun with you. And they're like, okay, yeah, this is what we're at. Rash, like, like, what's this event really trying to be like? So that person that's courting it comes over to us. It's a bunch of like influencers slash bloggers that are at this restaurant to try a new menu, but for some reason, Knotts is there to promote themselves, <laughs> squeezing their way in. So we're like, okay, like, yeah, that's fine. Like, let's get in there. So we're in the middle of this parking lot, just like full on, just like gearing up, putting the mask on, and everyone's like walking by, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like mom, what's up? Like, what is this? <laughs> This <laughs> that reminds me of the Cowskate story. We'll talk about that in a second. We're like putting these kids are like kids are going back in cars so they don't want to see us. We get in there, we're doing our thing, we're running around, we're like just hitting our left hand our right, we're scaring people. Literally the most awkward event. No one there I think was expecting us to be there. And so it was just the most uncomfortable thing after because you're just sitting there just like uh, so yes, yeah, so, so we have like a we have a new cheeseburger. It's gonna feature bacon. Like the chef, we're sitting there with like the chef, like, uh, like what are we supposed to do? I'm trying to get into the kitchen. They won't let me. Out. Yeah. So I'm trying to get with the chef, man. I don't know what I'm doing here. I yeah. can see him. He's like, I'm just trying to. Put some it was burgers. the most yeah. awkward promotion, but I still think it's one of my favorite stories. I think stories I did one during the it's time. Story, but like... the best part is, is after we're getting back in the car. There's a Chipotle right there, mind you. This has been like a five-hour ordeal. Oh, yeah. None of us have had dinner. We're trying to talk this girl in the other let's get Chipotle, and she's like, nope, can't do it. Nope. We're we, were, we are begging it with everything in us to get to this Chipotle. Like, she's like, um, I, I, I don't think we can do that. But like, I'm not asking you to pay. Like, I'm just asking you to let us go in there. I'm starving. Right now. It's one of those nope. things. Like, obviously, this freaking restaurant didn't hook us up. So nope. it's like, nope. Yeah, they did not. No, I was, I was. They had a sample. Did you get to Chipotle? No, we didn't. No, oh, I don't know. Full costume. I wish. Yeah. Okay, no. hey, I'll take a burrito. One of my, <laughs> one of my years, I did because I used to be on the K Brigade. One of the years we did uh, Scare LA, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, because it was before yeah. Midsummer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the years we did Scare LA. Knots like promoted it or something. Mm -hmm. They let us do full Knots makeup, but Knots did our makeup, but then we planned. Okay. And then I had, so I was wearing my Boston's oh, face. Yeah. Yeah. And if we had a similar experience, I went to a Starbucks to order. Because I wasn't on the clock or anything, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna milk this. So I walked into Starbucks in full costume, the one right there, blown apart by the ball. <laughs> I'm like, I walk out, and I'm like, the girl's like, what the 
fuck? I'm like, what up, dude? Can I get a mocha frap? Like, <laughs> you're talking regular. You're in this like yeah, scary ass like, costume. Like froth that thing, and like the whole time she's making, I'm just staring at her like froth my fucking froth. <laughs> you better meet double me. blend. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah, yeah extra whip. We also we have a pretty good story too as well on top of that. Dude, man, that's <laughs> this is, it's it's ex- story, it's though. extremely awkward, but like, all right. So we were like, we're like 16. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not 16. I'm tripping. We were like, you're already. Yeah, I'm we were. 16. Yeah, I don't know I was why I said 16. It might have been 2000. It was like 2013. 13. Yeah, yeah like our second year at Haunt. And my friend is getting her was getting her master's um, in communications or something like that. Yeah. She was at Fullerton College about to transfer. So she goes, Hey, I have to write. I have to do a, a speech thing. I like a speech presentation, but I can write on whatever I want. Can I like interview? I want to write on Halloween Haunt. Can I like talk to you and, and get some insight? And I was like, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can't believe I'm telling it, man. This is, this is an awkward story. So anyway, um, I was like, yeah, for sure. So we, you know, she's interviewing me, asking me questions, and she goes, hey, you know what would be a great idea? Like, if you're down, like that day I have that classroom doing that presentation, could you show up with some of your friends and like stare at some people? And I was like, fuck yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Say no more. I'm like, I'm down. And like, you know, we didn't have Knott's Mass or anything. This was completely like shit out of my garage. Yeah. Like, this was like not affiliated at all with Knott's. And not even thinking about it, we get there and she's like, okay, cool. Like, I, I do my speech at like 2.30. Like, if you guys just wait outside and then when I finish it, like coming through the back of the classroom, it stares me, him, and our other buddy, Mark. Yeah, our buddy Mark. And uh, I'm like, we're, yeah, I'm down. Like, you know, whatever you need, you know? And, and again, not affiliated with knots, nothing to do with knots. Just want to be sure. Your own thing. My okay. own thing completely. Your own thing. His own idea. And because she was talking about haunt, but she was also talking about like the, the Halloween, like haunt culture. Of, yeah. Like, People doing their own mazes and stuff like that, which I heard you guys are doing one this year, right? It's, it's in the works. works. It's cool. nice. Might, guys, have to, might have to kickstart it, but yeah, it's in the works. Let us know if you need some insanity for an idea. We'll come tear, well, not tear apart literally, I'll but we'll myself out of there too. Yeah. Go. But anyway, um, <laughs> it so, is, it's, it's right up your alley too. Yeah, you especially. <laughs> go be insane. Mm-hmm. Need some babies. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, we we're gearing up. You know, putting. <laughs> I don't know why this shit didn't register to me, but we're in a parking lot of a school at a very charged political time in our, you know, in the climate, and putting on bloody shirts. Ah, oh, <laughs> fucking, God. Yeah. You know? And so we're getting up, and, like, security drives by, and they're like, we're, put, we're putting on masks. <laughs> it's one of those things where everybody's like, we go walking into the school. <laughs> Like, we're just ready to go. You know what she had to have told people? If, like, faculty has to be in the loop. And faculty was not in the loop. No, they were not. <laughs> so we get security called on us. Because they don't know if we're, like, active shooters or whatever the fuck we're doing yeah. here. And then we have to further explain, like, no, we're not here to harass people. We're here to do this thing and scare. And then from that point, all the teachers came out of the classrooms and they were like filming us and taking pictures of us and watching us. And we, you know, we waited till the end and like she did, a, she said something in the speech that triggered us and then we went running through and scared people and this and that. And it ended up being kind of fun, but in the moment, I didn't realize yeah, that it no. was it was probably not a great idea. Yeah. I thought all along she like everyone was involved, like everyone yeah, knew what I, you were yeah, talking about. No, no, I had no not. idea. The no security idea. was like they were like, we're this close to calling the cops on you yeah, guys. And and like, like, we run into the classroom, we're like jumping on tables and throwing books and shit and like just going insane. She's like, go for it, and I'm like, alright, well, don't say that word don't say that to us, because we'll go for it. Like, <laughs> yeah, we won't cool. stop, dude. I remember after it was Mark running the car, oh fuck, oh fuck, I knew some people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friend knew people in the classroom. Anyway, but yeah, that's a. Uh, but getting back to auditions really quick, because I, I, I wanted to. Because you talked about your audition, and I just wanted to talk about mine really quick, because like the way it happened was cool. Do you guys know who Craig is? Back in the day? So Craig was like, a lot of people talk, call him like a, the Haunt Godfather. Yeah, he'd been around a long time through Haunt. Yeah. Don't quote me, he might have ran the entertainment department, which was in charge of Haunt. I think now Rides Department is in charge of Haunt, if I'm not mistaken. That's why a lot of the TCs are, are like okay. the usual um, ride yeah. operators and stuff. As, as far as I know, I don't know for sure. That's what it used to be. Anyway. But anyway, uh, my first audition, my first year in 2012, I went in and they told me you're going to be in a maze because I'm short and I was going to get typecasted to the Pinocchio maze. If you guys remember that? Yeah, I remember that maze. Yeah, Pinocchio on strong. Yeah. And uh, I was like, okay, for sure. And I knew enough about the hot culture to be like, yeah, that's not how it goes. So I walked out. And they told me to go to a certain building, and I just went, you know, nope, and I just explored the back lot of knots until I found where street auditions were. 
And I was like, hey, is this where they're doing story auditions? And they were like, yeah. And I'm like, cool, I'm going to put my name in. And one person had gone before me, and they had uh, not gotten it. Um, and they walked out, and then they called me in, and I auditioned in front of Craig and, and Ian, who's also someone that's not there, that had been yeah. around a long time in the haunt community. Too. So it was very intimidating. <laughs> they had Super scary. To, to know these two people, and, and to a degree, they kind of knew who we were too because yeah. we had done YouTube stuff, and up to that point, we had been sliding with the monsters for maybe two or three years, so yeah, we definitely. knew a lot of people. And, yeah. Um, I went in there, and I, I they told me, you know, we have we have two ghost town spots, and I was like, cool, I'm taking one, and they were like, all right, well, let's see what we can do. So I, I did it, and you know, like like he was saying, right? It's kind of embarrassing a little bit, but you just kind of got to it's say, lot, fuck it. It's a lot embarrassing. Yeah. I never did like a Franken. They told me to do like a Frankenstein, um, like yeah. scenario, and that I was, was doing like one embarrassment and I, is, and I hit, yeah. and there was a trash can there, like a, a, a garbage, like a huge depart, like department trash can, and I hit it. And they're like, don't hit the trash can! I was like, <laughs> I think mine was, uh, you were a, 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 a zombie uh, bandit who just won the beauty pageant. That was my audition. That was my first, and I don't really even remember what I did fully, but I was just an idiot. And then I did the horse thing, and they were like, cool, and then they were talking, and I was like, fuck, I feel like I fucked this one up. And then, and then Craig said, uh, we have a saying. Yeah, he's like, we have a saying, it's uh, shut up, sit down, welcome to the ghost town. And I freaked out, because I've been wanting... For personal reasons, I've been wanting Ghost Town since I was since I had gone. To Just recapping super quick because everyone gets into haunt their own ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How they end up there and how they want to work there, and it's all really cool. You need stories. I started going back in 2000, um, and then I had always loved it, um, except for the bride because she scares the <laughs> shit out of me. And when it was Jean, she scares the shit out of me, and now Glow. And and I love yeah. Glow. I love Glow to death. We I love a bride story, by the way. Too. Do you? Yeah. I love Glow. I don't love the bride. I hate the bride. I love Glow. <laughs> and in fact, you guys can look at a video on YouTube of, of Glow scaring me in Paranormal when yeah. I was just walking through Paranormal <laughs> as in costume before the night opened. We were just exploring the maze. I think I've seen that video actually. It's, it's on Art's page. Yeah, Art yeah. Dracula's page. Yeah. Shout out to our boy Art. Yeah, his mouth was like, he, he had that pros he had a prosthetic, right? Yeah, yeah and your mouth, costume. you were like, and you were like hooving over Yo, that like a possum. Out of me, dude. And he was just like, oh, no, no, no. That's <laughs> Speaking of haunt injuries, I have a scar on my leg from me falling and scraping myself. And Oof. now every time I see that, it reminds me that Glow gave that to me. And I don't like that. PTSD, man. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, so so I, I loved haunt, right? And then in about when I was about 13, I went, or 12 or 13, actually it was about 12, I went and um, my my parent that year, uh, in, when I first went to haunt, sorry, in 2000, I was, I was uh, you know, didn't want to practice the piano in the mornings before school, so I, you know, gave my mom a little mouth, right? <laughs> and I was supposed to go to Disney that day, and she goes, you know, stop your bad talk, you're not going to Disney. And I'm like, fuck this, mom. I'm not playing the piano. I didn't say that to her, but I was like, I'm not playing the piano. Like, fuck Beethoven, whatever, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I go to school, and my mom signs my brother out to go to Disney that day, and not me. And I get called up to the office, my mom leaves me a packet, or my mom, that my mom's here and I'm stoked. I'm like, she was bluffing. I'm going to Disneyland today. Yeah. So like I get there, this, this, she's savage as fuck, my mom. She leaves a Love note it. saying, next time don't laptop on me, maybe you'll be signed out too. And I'm like, motherfucker, dude. Savage. I'm in like fourth grade or some yeah. shit. It's like, like a walk of shame out of the office. Yeah, yeah. so I get home, my dad picks me up. He's like, listen, straighten up, next month, Halloween, I'm gonna take you to Knott's. I'm like, dad, I've been to Knott's. I've been to Ghost Rider 15 times. Like, that's, that's amateur <laughs> hour. He's like, no, no, no. They have an event there called the Halloween Haunt. And he made it sound like the whole park was a maze. And I'm like, do they fly in fuck ton of corn? I'm like, how do they do this, dude? But I don't know. And, and I'm like, okay, I'm down. I get there. And then it just, from that point, I was just like, yo, like, this is amazing. Especially yeah. Ghost Town, right? And I love hearing, I'm sorry, but I love, no, hearing, I love hearing moments where people first, like, witness the haunt. Yeah, it's like was, that one moment. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, I didn't know people did this. Yeah. And I was like, yo, and, and I went through all these old the mazes and and I was enthralled in it. And then when I, me and my dad became a tradition, we would go every year. Yeah. And then, uh, and like when I was like 12, uh, my mom, and my dad split up. And I remember t that was in May. And then October came, and I was fired up because uh, my dad kind of lived a little bit far away, and I would only see him occasionally. And uh, October came, and I was, I was stoked. I was like, dude, me and my dad, we're gonna have a fucking son and father day. We're gonna straight go to haunt. Stoked on it. I get there. And, uh, you know, we go through a couple mazes. We're having a great time. 
And then, uh, no, shout out to my dad, by the way. He's like, oh, well, he doesn't know what YouTube is. But well, shout out to my dad. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to paint him in a bad light, but I'm just saying. Uh, and then that night, halfway through the night, uh, his, like, girlfriend showed up. And at the time, I'm 12, so, like, I don't know how to, like, mentally process emotions. Just, like, you know? Yeah, I was bummed. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, this is a hard <laughs> thing, man. Yeah, exactly. So I kind of just, like, yeeted out of there by myself. And I just went and walked to Ghost Town. I sat in front of the knife shop on one of the benches from the knife shop. Yeah. And, uh, you know, shit started resonating in my mind of, like, fuck. Like, I'm going to have to have two Christmases and all this shit. And it kind of hit me a little hard. And some monsters came up, and um, when they realized I wasn't kind of, I wasn't like in tears about being scared, I was like more of an emotional thing. They like were picking me up, putting me on their shoulders, scaring with me, like joking around, like making me laugh, making me smile. And that was the moment I knew, like, not only do I want to be a hob, I want to be on Ghost Town. Like, yeah. this is what I want to do. I want to be here and inspire people and make people happy. It's really cool that they did something like that. Cause yeah, I still don't know who they are until this day, and that bums me out. Yeah. But you can wish you can go back and just be like, thank you. Or just, yeah, yeah, whoever they were, but that, that inspired me to be like, yo, I want to be here. So when it came time for me to jump out of the minivan when I was 18 and audition, um, I, I was a cavalier. I'm joking. I was, <laughs> <laughs> was a cavalier. <laughs> We were up all night at 9-4-2 because oh, I couldn't find my social security card. And we're like trying to fucking find it. We went to the U.S. Open the day before, okay. and then we get home to his house. I mean, it's like, hey, mom, I need my social security card. She's like, Dude. what? She's like, what is we that? We tore that piece apart until 3 in the morning, figuring out. And we, we, had found to up, we had to be up at 6 a.m. to get to Knott's by, like, I think it was like 7 or 8. Yeah, something like that. Because he had to be first in line, but... Jesus Christ, I'm not afraid. But yeah, I got Ghost Town and like, getting Ghost Town to me was like, like, you done it. winning the fucking yeah. lottery, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, so stoked and, and I didn't say anything to anyone. And like, they were texting yeah. me like, what's up? And I wasn't saying shit. And I remember coming out and you were right there to greet me. This guy, do you know, do you know, uh, you guys ever parked over by the, um, the hotel area? Oh, like, yeah, south. Yeah, you know that little, little gate that like, it's like a little wooden, ceramic wooden it gate. It stops the street, like stops cars from basically like, yeah, yeah, the the yeah. This mother, he was shorter than he is now. This motherfucker hurdled that. I don't know, I don't know how he <laughs> did that. I don't know. Yo, you full on hurdled that, dude. Like <laughs> Olympic style. Coming up to me, because he just had to walk down the little fucking ghost town. I was so fired up. Yeah, yeah, and, and if you want to hear a good audition story too, if you guys talk to Merrick again, I don't know if he'll remember this. But he has a really great group audition where he didn't know what PTSD was. That was Dementors, I thought. No, that was you. That was you. No, that was me with Dementors, because I've never seen Harry Potter. But um, I've never seen Harry Potter. Still to this day, you still never seen I still haven't seen Harry Potter, no. I've seen one, I've seen two Star Wars movies, only the new ones. Wait, what's your malfunction? I'm, I'm, I'm uncultured in, in movies. I'm a, Wait, I'm a huge you've seen movie. two Star Wars movies only than the new ones? The, the new ones that just came out, The Force Awakens and the other ones. So you haven't shown the original trilogy yet? I have no, not seen the original. You can't refuse us to. It's, it's hard. I, I, I don't try. have time, bro. Like, listen, I respect the culture. I respect it. I've seen, like, four Disney movies, too, by the way. Yeah. In my yeah. life? In my life, yeah. Oh my not including the Marvel movies, because I've seen all those. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. like a, I'm a music Okay, person. now you're back on track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've seen all the Marvel movies. Right. I, I, instead of good. watching movies, I grew up a lot listening to full-on albums and stuff. That's just how oh, I yeah. So I'm a huge music person. Music. But I like talk music forever, but... Um, anyway, um, what was like, Merrick, what was PTSD. He? Merrick, he goes into the audition, he doesn't know what, and this is everyone that needs to audition or is going to audition. Yeah. Take this as great advice of, they give him a scenario of, you are on a surfboard in the middle of the ocean and you get PTSD. And he didn't know what PTSD was. And so fucking- How would be, how would his response be? I, I don't know, he'd probably laugh about it. Do like, so, so he, he didn't know what it was. And like, this is great advice for people that want to audition to like not freeze. Like, don't let that get to you. Don't let something stutter your step, right? Yeah. And he was on the surfboard, not knowing what it was, and he was like swatting the air, like, get this PTSD away from me. <laughs> he thought they were like birds or some shit. And he didn't know what they were, but he rolled with it. And everyone laughed, and, and you know, that's a great testament to like, don't stop. If you're in an audition, don't freeze. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I had a similar experience. Well, I didn't know what I didn't know what Dementors were, and we're in a group audition. Yeah. Luckily, and they were like, "You just escaped from prison or Azkaban?" Azkaban. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what that was, and I was like, "What's this ass ass something?" <laughs> it's just like a very like high. I thought it was a strip club. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. And so, and, and you're being attacked by Dementors, and I was like, "What the fuck is it?" Then? And they were giving you time to think. They're like, "Okay, go," and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I see everyone going like swatting the air and I'm like this shit's a bird. Yeah, I know it. So I'm like, ah, it's shitting on me or whatever. 
I had no idea what it was. And then afterward, I had to ask my buddy, and, and he was like, yeah, it's from Harry Potter. They're like flying skulls or something. Uh, like demons? Something like that, to that yeah, extent, right? right? Yeah. Like shadow yeah. demons yeah. that fly, yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm way off. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 on me. I got rehired, so like, I did something okay. Yeah. But yeah, that, those are those are kind of my my only. Funny. I remember like mine for the, I think I just remember now that they told us I think you were like they gave us like pills or like something and you're having a seizure and you're dying so like you see like all of us like shaking. Oh, that's right up your alley. Yeah. And we were that's like, you and you now. see me you tilted. Oh, yeah. You see me tilted like sideways, and I'm like, like on the ground the whole time screaming. And then I didn't realize I was the last one screaming till ten seconds later. They're like, and they told me twice, okay, thank you, okay, thank you. They like told me twice. I was like, I literally woke up and I'm like the only one up. And then you see the rest of them like standing up, looking at me. I'm like, from what I've heard, that's what you're like when you go back. Yeah, I'm very right, 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 yeah. <laughs> Which is, I say it's true and not true, but like, I, I've heard different yeah, stories of it. Story. I have some pretty funny photos. I like I like, I, I, don't don't know. Know. I, I haven't yeah. seen it personally, but he, I've seen. He has a funny photo. photo of me when I was sleeping. Yeah, no, because he was. Oh, is it the one where we all stay the night at James' house that night? No, no. I was sleeping backstage. Yeah, backstage, because I was. A long day from my like, work and yeah. I like I was so tired then I usually oh, what I do I just lay on my back oh, and then I I, 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 I have my <laughs> knees up I have my my legs like on like on the ground just like thinking I was like oh, I'm not gonna sleep <laughs> and then um <laughs> the fuck out. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have to send me that so I can put it in the podcast. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um. So. I was I was like just slowly like dozing off and then like I was like oh I'm probably like putting an alarm and fall asleep and yeah. then I dozed off and then do you see Wyatt just like smile at me with his <laughs> camera, camera with camera with this like black <laughs> Ben I makeup no, I was like that was, that was makeup last year. Was last I mean, year. You, yeah, yeah, last year with your like two D makeup. I was like, <laughs> were you laughing? about he goes like. I just took a picture. He like showed me a picture of <laughs> me. The fuck out. I was like, oh man, oh, that's how tired I was. I was God, so dead, but it was so fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I can tell you this right now. This podcast has been the most shenanigans filled podcast. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I want to say it too. No, no, yeah, that's what we're about, man. It, if yeah. anyone saw us or knew us on streets, bro, we're all about the party. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's what it was awesome. about. Yeah, possum party. The, the possum, that was everyone else, man. All right, that, that was... I think the night we had that was... I think the best one we had was when we had when Gary showed up. Emerge from the shadows. So, so, so I, the I, used, shadow. I used to do it. I, and I can't take full credit for this because I Gary kind of spazzed. His name's Gary. Mm-hmm. Kind of helped, helped me develop this. But um, my, my second year when I got the possum face, um, you know, him and I would just go out and run together and just be insane. Like... And you know we're talking a lot about like characters and stuff, right? Like those are important parts of Ghost Town. Yeah. I did paw some shit. Like I would fall and jump into trash cans, and like again, not something I condone because you'll probably get fired for it. Oh, we've seen some trash can stuff this year. Yeah. <laughs> like you see the big blue ones that people push around. Yeah. So yeah, I, I used to jump in those. And, and, <laughs> oh my god! And don't tell out. me. I had heard a story of uh, when I worked there that someone jumped into that and jumped out. That was you. <laughs> Probably my cousin. My cousin worked there at the time. He goes, "Yeah, man, there was this one time this guy jumped in one of these. It was like brand new, and he goes, just jumped yeah, out." Yeah, it was new because like, I was like, "There's no they shit just, in this, they right?" They just left it like in the yep. middle, right? And I was, I was, that's you. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, that was me. Um, and I used to. Oh man, I have a fucking Vanessa Hudgens story too. Um, I used to do that. Yeah, and they were super awesome. But at a point, I heard from a part of maintenance dude that they had. A picture of my face in the park maintenance office board saying, "Don't let this guy mess with trash cans." That's what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. But um, we should go out there and just be insane. And, and that was that was the thing is is people have these characters, and I used to do character stuff like that: eat people's food, eat people's trash, eat shoes, spit on people, whatever. Yeah. Um, should but, I quiet you at this day? <laughs> my yeah, character is a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 barbecue yeah, sauce. Some barbecue sauce. Here's the funny. Uh, I'll tell you off camera. But Jen told some stories with you this year. I've yeah. seen shit, dude. Mm-hmm. We I've seen the first time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, and, you know, eat people's food or run on tables and do all sorts of shit. And, like, again, I don't condone doing this stuff now because, you know, they're. This was a different time. Times have changed. Yeah. 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 And, and it's awesome to see so much characterization out there, which is super dope. Yeah. Um. I still would love to see someone do the possum much better than I ever did, just to the fact of like I, I want to see someone like character it, like really do it character wise. Mm-hmm. Um, but 
when we went out there and we just went insane and me and me and Spaz would just roll together and go 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 we would pick up Wyatt and Lucio and all these other people along the way and we just turned that into what I call a possum party and there would be nights where we'd be rolling and we wouldn't stop like I said these are the nights we're doing 15 to 20 miles on ghost town yeah, yeah. and this is tracked by fitbits that we wore and they would tell us that we would go 15 and 20 miles and we were going yeah all around ghost town looping scaring like just go 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 and i mean there would be nights where we you know we'd be like scaring 15. yeah we'd be we'd be it'd be it'd be 9 30 10 30. yo it's time for a fucking pasta party yeah and we would just start going and pick up people along the way Next thing you know, we're running through Ghost Town with 15, 16, 17 monsters just trucking a line of people. Because not, I mean, you can't scare everyone at haunt. Oh no, it's impossible. Yeah. But if you got a line of monsters, no one's getting past you. Oh no, and yeah. everyone gets an opportunity. And everybody does that one thing like, what do I do? What That's do I do? What do, I do? That's, that was yeah. my thing. Is like, I, Proud of people. I can't. I'm shitty at being creepy. I can't be creepy. Yeah. I can't be creepy. That's just not who I am. Yeah. People are really good at that. Like glow, amazing. She can scare you just by looking at you. Yeah. I have beautiful blue eyes. I can't. No, I'm kidding. I can't scare. <laughs> I can't scare people like that. Though. I don't have that ability. So you know, the way I scared, which is the way Gary scared, is just be a predator, be a tornado. Mm-hmm. And you know, maybe they see you coming, Unless but that's you're fine. In the taz, yeah, let them. Like they should hear you coming in my way. Oh, it was like a was... fireball just coming through him, him and Gary. Well, yeah, Gary but... was like um like a gigantic fireball. Yeah, Gary's through. the one, dude. And Gary's just you will fire, you will get that heat from him and just go along with. That's it. what we wanted to do. We yeah. just wanted to party, dude. And like, boom, 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 don't stop. Like you don't move around, guests. Guests move around you when you are you go and yeah. you don't stop. Yeah. You tear guests down if you have to. Yeah, you fire through. And we get these possum parties going, and man, we roll around Ghost Town, grouped up with like 15, 20 of us, loud as shit. Yeah, yeah. All the guests are like, what's going on? And we're just tearing through. Hitting our left, hitting our left, right. Right, <laughs> up, down, slides, jumping off tables in the slides, like yeah. just dominating. Those are some of the best memories I had, but the possum party wasn't me, it was everybody else. Yeah. You know, I couldn't do that alone, but yeah, yeah. Um, I feel those like, were... I feel like it, you, you didn't see it as much. I think it kind of like... They get pushed away from doing stuff like that. So that, that literally that last night that we did it, which was uh, it was, it was your last night. Yeah. last night. Now yeah. everything's like fucking safety fire. Yeah, yeah. I, see, I think the only. I mean, it's it's a safety thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's 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 you know, I mean, it's just to keep everyone safe. But right, like, of course. I think yeah. the only two people this year that I saw actively like putting up numbers that like we would be putting up was Seth and Allison. Like shout out to those two. Those Dude. two were mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they were, they were rolling deep. But also Ghost Town's things. a little more constricted now, so it's a little less opportunity to open up your legs. You definitely can and people do it amazingly. Yeah. Um and, and they take full like I mean right? Take full utilization of what you got. Yeah. And uh yeah, I can. I mean, <laughs> get a get a freaking t shirt and act like a ghost. Yeah, oh, yeah. Were you there that night? Yeah. Dude, what? <laughs> were you there? Yeah, yeah. Were you there? No, no, he found oh, a t shirt on the found floor. A, okay, I found which this should have been on the first pocket. Did the you wear it like a sheet? No. Oh man. No, because there was stuff I was texting this guy. We've got to talk about this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is off tree. Um so I found there was, I was just running through, it was a slow sunny night, and this is when we do, like, kind of like, should we do, like, back in, like, we just do shenanigans, a <laughs> bunch of shenanigans, and then, um, but then I was just, like, pretty much bored, and then I, and Ruth was the orphan, which, really great, by the way, and, um, she was scaring one guest in that middle fog out, like, right in the entrance going to, like, um, Sad Joe, mm-hmm. um, she was scaring someone that was sitting down, and then she found a t-shirt, and she was like, and then she like pointed, like showed me, and I grabbed it. They didn't know what to do with it, but there's me with oh, like yeah. everything that I do is like all improvised. And I just went and covered my face with it. Just like, but like I was grabbing it with two, two both sides and I was telling people that I was a ghost. You know, I was just like shaking. I was like, I'm a ghost and I'm a ghost. And I just scared people with it. There's another Kenzie picture right Yeah, there. then I, um, then, but they found us on the floor, so that's where all the good things come from. Yeah, and um, I then the whole should we like the whole shenanigans we do with like me and Merrick would do. I w- I saw him and they were just like doing that. Then I put the shirt over his face. Oh god! And Merrick's being Merrick and just like over his face, like oh god, oh god, oh, god. <laughs> and then like just like and then. Um, then he would do like we would do rants, and then he would put the shirt right around my neck and started choking me with it, pretending. But he didn't notice that I, he was like actually he was choking me. He was too invested. And then he was too invested into it. So I was just like rocking back and forth. I'm like 
trying to get with the whole scenario and getting character, but like really I was like, I'm fucking choking right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to die right now. I was like, this is like, I'm like, this is it. I'm done. What kind of a shirt was it? It was a random like was like a Hanes t shirt? No, no, it was just like a random like a white white, oh, white, white t shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, t -shirt. I wanna know how was someone walking around shirtless and not like how did that come yeah. off? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think Unless they bought a shirt like maybe they, maybe they like had like a maybe they had like a random t shirt. No, we like, should have done. Was it a white shirt? It was a white shirt. You should have went back with a marker and put like I am a guest and just try to ride a ride and put it on and be like, I'm just here for the hang out. Yeah, I'm having this monster at work here. Or she spilled like soaking blood and just like here. You should have wrote I am a guest on the shirt. That would be awesome. I would, I would have been, I would have done that. But like, literally, I was like putting it around my face and I was shaking it. I was like, I'm a ghost. And I would scare people with it. And I just saw him walking down the camera. I'm like, does he have a fucking. I thought it was a pillowcase. Is this guy yeah. a pillowcase? Where does he get this would, stuff? And then I, I, I was spaying it like a flag. I was like, ah! well, I'm <laughs> Like one night. Oh, but, yes. then, um, but I would I was just doing a bunch of like funny like shit with it. It oh, was yeah, time story. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, the, the Gary story. So again, and I, I like I actually also want to give some like creative advice and help people because I'm sure there's a lot of people that watch you guys' channel that are like super into haunt. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we get yeah, we got yeah. actually there's a couple questions on Instagram that Oh okay work. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I also want to give some advice, not mm -hmm. like we're you know, it's all about the party having fun, right? With permission. Kids. <laughs> but so me, me and a lot of my stories stem around Gary because Gary was like again like dude that guy's like you gotta, you gotta hit him up bro he's yeah. oh he's maybe so down he's like four or five time monster of the year one like that guy's amazing but anyway um we were during the witch hanging of the 40th anniversary yeah we're scanning through and there's a crowd there and like you know whenever you see a crowd my first thought is like how can we fuck with the crowd like how can we entertain these people while they're just standing there. Right? Because that's our job is to entertain people. Yeah. So how can we get involved and make this something, right? So I had the idea of let's just get up on the stage and, and cause a riot. So we got up onto the, you know how the hanging has those wooden, like, where the fuck was I when all this was happening? <laughs> where, where was I? Like, what was I doing? The, wood, the wooden fence that's in front of the hanging pit, um, it's, you know, just keep the crowd from going onto the stage. Yeah. Jump up on that. And then we kind of jumped up onto the stage. Mm -hmm. And, uh... He was on one side, I was on this side, and we were like, oh, who's working the witch hanging? And they were like, yeah, and we are like, well, you gotta wait another 10 minutes. And they were like, uh. So we split the crowd down the middle, and I got my side over here, he got his side, and we had like a ton of people split, and I was like, all right. On three, we're gonna say, you know, your mama, one, two, three, and we all point at his crowd, and that whole side's like, your mama! And he's like, all right, we're against his whole crowd. <laughs> And we're like, suck it! <laughs> Our crowds are going back and forth, just yelling insults at each other. And then we did a dance battle going on in the middle of it. <laughs> we're like, yeah, we get down, and Gary's like doing the worm. We're like partying in the middle of this dance battle. Dude, it was great. And, and, and when I went to Haunt back in the day, like, that was one of those cool things. It's like every night you would go and you would see Jeff Starr wearing a, 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 a balloon costume, or like you'd see Dusty Geezer doing some fun stuff. like. It was like every night you went was an opportunity to see something unique. Yeah. And that's, you know, when I got to haunt, that's something I wanted to embody too. Like, how can I do something out of the box or next level, what Gary calls it? Yeah. To make something unique for a guest and be like, oh shit, like, I've never seen that before. Like, that was fucking awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And Definitely. every night we went out, that's what we tried to do. Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of the goal of a lot of people at haunt. Yeah. Try to just see how they can make it, push it to the next level. Yeah, you got it. Exactly. Yeah. It's all about taking it to the next level. Yeah. If you stay complacent, like, you get bored. Yeah. And then guests will get bored. Definitely. You gotta be like him and go out and do some crazy shit every night. He's got all we've seen yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Like I said, it's all. I rolled it's all, I know how it goes. 90% of the time it's all improvised. <laughs> like the like, shit off his knee. They, they told me, yeah, or, shit. Yeah. yeah they, well, know, once though. they started to get to know, like, when, what was it, 2016, I started to do that character. Uh huh. They just started to, like, disperse from, like, away from, like, what I was doing because like they didn't know what how to react. Well, that was Seth's whole thing. He wanted to try to run with you this year and he just didn't. He, know. He yeah, didn't know he didn't know how to do it. It's hard to run with him, man. Cause he does all this shit where you're like, like he'll, like, he'll drop on the yeah. ground and start fucking someone up. <laughs> I'm, I'm up there like, suck it, yeah. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> like, he's like I'm like screaming and he goes like out there. You see one in the background. He goes, yeah, suck it. Yeah, I'm like in the face. Oh, like, yeah. He's I don't like, know what. But he's on his thing, and I'm like, I'm on to fuck with that. He's he's tearing him up. You yeah. know, he don't need that. And he see, and you know? see, like, why out there? He's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're in there. You're like, you like it, huh? Like, yeah, you like, like it. it. Yeah. Then, but like, yeah. I, with him, he just, he just technically my haunt name is Wildcard. Yeah. 
he's the true wild card. Wild card, yeah. Because you don't know what the fuck's coming next. Yeah. yeah. You don't roll with Lucio. Lucio has to roll with you. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's kind of I, I asked, I, I literally asked him, like, can I just roll with you guys just for like a minute? Then like, cool. Then I, it's literally a minute. And yeah, it's, it's, he's in and then yeah, you, you turn on the corner, you're like, well, there was a couple possum parties where you, we were just gone. Yeah, we are gone, yeah. We're, yeah, that we're was, fucked next season. I'm just going to say a bunch of shit to you. Just, shit to go through. Yeah, no, I would, I would do nights where I'm, I'm there around with like, cause they, that whole, air, which are, I would say, not our area, but like we were at that spot. Permi was at Ghost Rider Exit. Yeah, we were. I think it was you were. Yeah, Ghost Rider Exit. I mean, that's when it's 2016. When that's where I actually, even in the past events, that's where I saw you a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. let me say, a lot. Let me say that's where it was like 2016, which was my first year in Ghost Town. It was just uh, last year at Haunt. That's when we still had full range. So I mean, it would always like. You find us from there. You, I mean, Silver Bullet. Silver was Bullet was yeah. shit, man. Silver, Silver Bullet, Bullet was so dope. Right. So fun. I love Bullet. That's the but. first time I actually hit someone when I when I did. I got certified in sliding. I hit someone, <laughs> and they all, they like yeah. tripped, but they landed on my whole. They landed on my whole back. They their arms are like like close to my like my butt cheek. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, where look up? And I was like. Look, I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. But this, I was a, a different, like, I was a gruesome character. Yeah, so that's when he was just no normal. We yeah. were doing a possum party one night, Bullet, and I'm in the back of the possum party. I was caboosing it, and they're all ripping through, just doing their thing. I'm running, and this guy scares some girl, and he scares her and keeps going. And I see this girl, dude, go face first into a pillar for a bullet. <laughs> dude, like, boom, you hear that shit. <laughs> That's when gunslingers were still there too, so that line was right there. So I went, oh shit, and my boyfriend went, oh shit, and I was like, Bullet Man, like, I broke out my first couple in Silver Bullet. Oh I my fucking, god. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. You catch couples over there by the uh, dude, I broke some people Ooh, up, yeah. it was awesome. Like, mm-hmm. bullet, Bullet's a good spot, dude. Yeah, bullet, bullet that's story. Bullet that's how I wrote something up. Yeah. Spot that Honestly, what, it was just... I a lot of banter. Remember the, yeah, remember the time it's... where they turned... I think it wasn't so dark, but they there was a light right when he gets yeah. to the entrance where, underneath where the train was. Yeah. Um, that was... I couldn't see in your life. I cannot see at all. And I was just... I had to hunch over just to see... Just the little yeah. shadow. Just see people's feet walking through. That way I can get through that... The way from that light Which is, by the way, the way to get through Foddy Alley, if you guys ever need to get through Foddy Alley. Because warm air rises, mm-hmm. so you're going to see their feet before you see their head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you see those guys that run through Foddy Alley, it's because we're low. And we're <laughs> now, yeah. I brought it up on AJ and Jen's podcast. I was very disappointed this year, and that was the real reason why. Because mm-hmm. we got to know everyone so well, they didn't even want to scare us. Yeah, that'll <laughs> happen. Yeah. And I'm just like, next year you just pull out all the stops yeah, I no think we what. I don't know why we just there's, there's, the way AJ put it he was like I see you as a homie yeah and I, it's like I was like drop that real quick <laughs> real quick real yeah, something we in just, my face man. Yeah, yeah let's go yeah we we did I don't know why I just never seemed to like have that attention to do that I mean I had there's fans like well it's not it's not like I'm, I'm my thing is like you see like me black and black like black I see you and then come scare me it's like one of those things like if I'm off guard go for it uh, yeah. It's like there's times where you just because like I said like like Merrick says and I do too we don't remember half of the things we say yeah, we black just, out yeah black and we, he goes like well I black out I'm like well I remember but I remember the whole thing you know <laughs> but it's it's literally like a time where you just because well, you, you, you do so many <laughs> do so many things you do, yeah you just don't remember yeah. all of it that's, and, you got to catch that next yeah. season. I was say, I mean, who, who knows? Might be back as a monster, might be back as a cast. Yeah, come back as a guest. Who knows? Just, guest, like, like, just come by Kmart, dude. Yeah. Like at ten o'clock. Yeah. After he's had like his monster and his coke, mm-hmm. and he still falls asleep. That's awesome. Dude, dude, he's kind of a talent though to fall asleep anywhere. No, like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like that one. Bro, I'm so. mad impressed by that. Like you can do that. But going yeah. to, to what you were saying, no, real quick. Like, um, yeah, just like nights where we just don't remember it. Then, but I remember nights where like there there'd be good like group trouble nights, like or like nights where like I caught. The couple this year <laughs> from um so i was in fog oh, you got a couple too i got what were they doing they were making they were, were they melting they're they no <laughs> they were making out oh uh, okay getting steamy. Uh, steamy yeah yeah they're getting a little handy and yeah and so we like, were in, you know where the secret bathroom's at oh yeah, yeah. secret bathroom probably oh, yeah, that's so that's um right so yeah okay they were there yeah in the beginning and um i didn't know they were there and so i was just scaring fog alley and then agent comes out he's like hey hustle 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 come here come here I was like, oh, okay, then they came, they were like, they pointed the bathroom, I was like, why are you pointing at the bathroom? And then they saw the couple making out, 
Were they in the bathroom? No, they uh, were like right next to like, yeah, that yeah, whole that, spot, like, that, that whole yeah. planner. They were standing right there. Yeah. And then, um, and then I was like, cool. And then I ran up and then mm-hmm. I sat there just Indian style. Just looking at them, they didn't see me. <laughs> they didn't see me at all. Dude, they were preoccupied. First off, yeah, they so were, they were preoccupied. Preoccupied. First off, you yeah. see Lucille sitting Indian style. That's just already. Just like I just sat there, I was like, <laughs> not thinking like they would see me, and I, but they were like, like I'm like, <laughs> should I just see <laughs> each other? Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, they were focused. Yeah, yeah. they were. Yeah. And I, love that and I was, and then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I started screaming at them, and I started saying a bunch of like, I didn't know what I said, but yeah. uh, gibberish words. And then one of them fell on the plant. Like the girl almost fell on oh, the plant. Nice. And then she, and I was like, you know what? I used to kiss a lot of boys in um, the <laughs> side location too. And I <laughs> walked out, and then like you could see everyone that was hanging on the, the side of Fog Alley just started laughing on the side of the porch, and they just it's hilarious. Yeah, I was like, I kissed. I kissed boys <laughs> to get through like the asylum too. And we, we, that was like one. There was that happened in Kmart this year. There was like this couple sitting right there, and the chickens come up and just start making fun of them. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then like I was just, we were just dying. You see the, you see the type like we that dark that where the fog is at coming yeah. out of the cross where you guys sit. There's. You, you tell you like you like, like they no it's not the place for that yeah they were there they we caught people like having sex in there too oh, dude, all the time it's awesome yeah and I mean, we, not for them but like not for them, like, like okay having yeah fuck this up. we we yeah <laughs> we're we the bad like we're calling them yeah, yeah we're calling them yeah. 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 yeah but um we there's people that got caught doing stuff with it that's so the year i go ahead no good good the good. year i broke up the kid with the with the or in the relationship is i just I, I, I saw a girl and a guy sitting there and they were they were clearly distressed, like they were not having a good time. And I was like, I'm gonna have a great time with them. <laughs> so I inserted myself into this into this argument and I slid up in character and I was like, I'm do my thing and they were both like just blazed looking at me like and I stopped and I went uh, or I stopped and, and I was like ah. and they were like, No, we're not having this and I was like, Oh word, okay, cool. So I kind of, I'll So I was like, cool. And I went around the bad side of the planner. I kind of listened, and they were talking about. Um, she was giving shit about another girl. So I was like, okay, cool. So I stored that information in my dome, right? And I went back around, <laughs> slid up again, and scared him. And I went, I just dropped character. And I went, oh, dude, what up? And he's like, what? I'm like. What's up, man? You remember me? And he's like, what? No. And I was like, bro, you were here last week with that blonde shit. <laughs> and he goes, what? And his girlfriend goes, what? And I'm like, oh, my bad. And I ran away. And then I went and hid over by Indian Trail and I watched and they, they yelled and then they went other directions. And I was like, yeah. yeah. Dude. It's usually the easiest one. You hit him with the... Like, what is your last name? We, your uh, yeah. we gave you a new character for Ghost Town this year. It ain't the possum. It's fucking Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not intimidating like that. I just like fuck people staying out there. Um, <laughs> you can be the fun Satan. Um, yeah, well, I, hey, listen, I hope they day. got married. I hope they reconciled their differences. Oh, they did it. They Probably not. I don't know. But <laughs> you know someone, it's, it's what's best. It's what's best. Yeah, maybe, what's maybe best they weren't meant to be. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. But, but yeah, for sure. But that's, yeah, that was and, that's and hilarious. That's like the good thing about people who want to work Haunt, right? The good thing about Haunt, I've always thought, because I've, I've seen Haunt always as a sport. To yeah. Me. To me, it's like a sport. Yeah. And, uh, me being the person I am in a personal level, like I'm a Christmas guy. I'm not, I'm not a huge Halloween person. I don't watch scary movies. I, I, I I'm not really immersed in that side of it. Um, but I love Haunt because well, it's a good workout. But it, you can you can be something you're not, or you can be different. And the cool thing about people that you know played sports is like if you're a quarterback in a Friday night game, you throw an interception, you're yelled at. But you're really not going to know what to do differently until the net, until you watch game film, and then you practice all week, and then your next shot to really correct that is Friday at the game again, right? Mm-hmm. At Haunt, I call Haunt like an instant gratification job. You can change things up and do something different the next day, the next hour, the next scare, the next break. You don't have to wait yeah. an amount of time to change things or, or be a different character or, or to try something different. Mm-hmm. You can just be backstage, chop it up with your friends, and be like, yo, I, did, I, you know, I slid this way out there and I kind of fucked it up. Cool. Next time you go out, try it again. Do it 15 more times until you got it. Until you yeah. mastered. Yeah. And that's how you know. I I I always looked to haunt was, you can always be better. Mm-hmm. But and which is why I have. I mean, I gave you guys rookie hats. I have like 15 rookie hats. <laughs> and that was I think that that's one of two vet hats I actually have. I never get vet hats. Um, Gary always taught me that you know to to have a vet hat, 
the, the term veteran implies that you've seen and done everything, and there's always something to learn and get better at. So every year I would grab a rookie hat. Because I wanted to be defined by that term of rookie, that there's always something I can learn, there's always yeah. something I can get better at. Yeah. That's how he lived his life. That's how I lived my life at Haunt. And uh, you know, there's always to the same idea of you know anyone that wants to work May streets, whatever, go out there and like do something different every hour, every break, every day. Come up with new ideas. Like be different. Be be inspired to want to scare. Go out and spit barbecue sauce on people if you feel like you want to do that. Go out and be in a riot if you feel like you want to fuck. I don't, I don't know being in a riot, but I mean, if you are, you are, you know, but, um, that actually is going to really, uh, transition to a question that we had from a fan, sure. uh, Twix asked, um, what are some great tips to be in streets, uh, for not scary farm? Uh, he wants to audition next year. Word. First off, solid candy bar. Nice. Twix. Right. Right, right or left? Yeah, right right or right or left. question. That's right a solid right. question. I'm a right handed, right. so I'm going to go left. Yeah. Okay, you're sweet little yeah. ambidextrous. Yeah. I, I, I respect that. <laughs> yeah, you thought I was going to pick right, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's a curveball. Yeah, yeah. curveball. I think both uh, sides. I don't okay, <laughs> okay, you're you're At the end of the day, the candy bar's gone. I say, at the end of the day, it's almost the same thing. I'm going to start with the left. No, Twitch is solid, though. Good thing. Me down the middle. Split the <laughs> down the middle. Are you one of those psychopaths that like chops it in half like horizontal? Oh no, 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 so he's done a haunt, um, okay. out in, the one on Riverside. Oh, already got experience. Solid. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's been on the streets, but he wants to. His words, we talked about it. He wants to take it to the big leagues. Okay. And he wants to know what are some great tips. Do you for say where he wants to go? He wants to be on. He wants to be on Ghost Town. Okay. Preferably, but he would be psyched just to be on the yeah. Street street street. Yeah, the street. Yeah. The feel that. To to kind of caveat into that question, like. Do you have a specific way where you get fired up for the night? Because I know I have enough. Um, yeah, I, like I told you guys in the beginning, um, I have I have one way of doing it. What I just I kind of do it. I've been doing it for a while, but like I but this is kind of new to me. Um, before I even get here, I play like I'm into like house and EDM music. They all know that too. So that kind of we have this, yeah. Every time we we get in common, we have something in common with our, our friendship yeah. and. Um, but uh, we um, <laughs> we. <laughs> By the way, we got a live studio audience. Yeah, you're our first live studio audience ever. So. I thought I'd acknowledge that. You probably hear them in the background. You're our first. You're our first live studio audience ever. So that's cool. It's great. Now shut up. <laughs> Tell the story. Here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, what I usually do, I just listen to like live sets and I listened to um, this one house music I saw in uh, Hard Summer in 2019, um, DJ Snake and Mala, and I was, a, that's like a whole new thing they did this year, so I was so like, like fired up for that. And that's something I listened to like every, like it's like an hour and a half long. Mm -hmm. I get into that and then um, I get there and then the meetings get you like fired up too. And then before the rope job, I'm, um, and I, I mentioned this too, like I'm, once I get in there into that zone, it's just, you, you, it's like pre warming up and you have to get yourself into that character. It's, full -blown yeah, full -blown it's fun walking, so you'll walk from like the break room, like we're all after Ghost Town, mm -hmm. you're walking all that way and the minute you open that gate to go out, boom, you see like, Lucio's gone hostels and it's like a quick yeah, transition. Yeah, you know? transition. Like, it's like, no people like, we'll kick the door open, there's usually no guests there, so you're kind of like, all right, get into it. Nope. When he, boom, yeah. instant yeah. transition. Even, yeah, when, when I had nights, when I started like after the road drop, I would, I would be like, all right guys, we're about to go in. We'll be like, I'm like all silly. <laughs> <laughs> after, I'm like, <laughs> then I would just get super like uh, into it. Um, it's got this switch that he just has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He kind of has to. It's, yeah, it kind of happened in that and yeah. that type of character that you have. But for me, like for that, I, I sit down in like um, Indian style. Then I would just just sit there. I watch a. There's like a blue light that would face me, and I'll just stare at it sometimes, um, not to avoid for myself from getting You're blind. Yeah, but like I would just sit that. there, just like those off and then I would you know just you know like just be mentally focused and then um, then the warm-ups happen and then right after they like knees like fires up and then um, right we're about to go out to like rope drop yeah we have this like huge like we're like we're like like away from like the 
beginning you're of basically that. Back and you're basically at the windmill. At yeah, the windmill, and yeah. Then, from from like towards like the front of like hotel. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, so I we were like where the windmill was at, and then I'm just there. Then once that happens, I'm fired up. I'm quiet. No one really like distracts distracts me, and just that's when it happens. And, so to take over. and then the reason I want to say that is because, you know, he wants to be on Ghost Town for anyone who wants to be on Ghost Town. Um, and, and working in management last year, you know, I, I, you know, you see how hard everyone works in the management side of it and like mazes and streets alike. There's so many amazing opportunities at Haunt. You know, people really come from the mazes, but like, you know, your streets, you're, you're in the in-between, right? Your constant entertainment is what's expected. But just speaking to the Ghost Town side of it, like, and you know, there's many monsters that have been on Ghost Town. I'm not gonna say because I talked them into it. That's not at all why. But like, I'm definitely a marketing campaign for Ghost Town. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I love Ghost Town with like everything I am. Ghost Town is haunt to me. And when I got fired up, and I'm just saying this to you know maybe this Twix. I don't want to say guy girl on a Twix. Um, can use this as you know inspiration. This kid that wants to be stoked, right? The reason I love Ghost Town so much, aside from the story I told you guys, is like every night when I went out there. And I would do the same thing every night, and, and you know, they were there, and I always had an early shift, thank God, because I was there for rope drop, and first off, Ghost Town's got rope drop, and there's nothing like rope drop. Yeah, nothing like there's it. nothing like that. Yeah. And now it's a little different than it was, because back in the day, you would just filter out there as, as you're ready, so sometimes there'd be one or two monsters out there for rope drop, and I'd be climbing on poles and stuff, getting the wave going in the whole crowd, getting them chanting stuff, like, getting everyone involved. Because there's people in the middle of the crowd just standing there in the heat getting bored and pissed, so like... It got to a point this year where we, uh, someone brought balloons and we started tossing balloons around. Oh, that's awesome, one. dude. I was yeah. wanting to bring a beach ball. Yeah. I wanted a crowd like that's what I wanted to do, but mm -hmm. I know it's a crowd You know, you know, you know, you know, you know beach, beach ball mania. Oh, really? You don't know beach ball? You don't know about Did you guys bring a beach ball? No, I was not thinking about it this year, though. Yeah. But now, uh, rope, beach, beach ball mania, if you go to like a WWE event, like some people, they'll bring beach balls. It's called beach ball mania. <laughs> and like if, if the, if the I mean, show is boring, which sometimes it will be, around, but yeah, yeah people bounce. get psyched off that. Yeah, I'd be fired up yeah. for sure. If I saw that haunt, dude. Yeah, so I mean, I've seen that over at like movie theaters. And obviously, that's always happened. Dude, what movie theaters are you going? <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this, was, this was the Marvel. This was like dude, that's this, those I think the last one I did was at the Dark Knight. And it was crowded, and we were throwing. They were throwing like uh, beach balls, and I that happened to the same one when I saw one of the Avenger films. And I can imagine what ending. Yeah. Like, you gotta let yeah. me know when you go. I don't know shit. Let me know. It was probably at the the, the block of orange when that happened yeah. too. Um, yeah, makes sense. But yeah, so you know, rope drop is awesome. If you're gonna think about doing ghost town, period, rope drop alone should sell you. But anyways, we would before we hit the or we would get out there after the speech and we would get the last year I was there was the new rope drop kind of format where they had us line up kind of uh, right by the blacksmith shop mm -hmm. and we wait for the queue and then we would all walk out and then the you did like was that the year Ain't No Grave or was that not? Yes. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. Johnny Cash would like eat the pumpkin. Yeah I think yeah, that exactly. one was like beyond I, th I thought that was I was like they couldn't have chosen a better Johnny yeah, Cash. I mean, Johnny Cash I have, I have a six ass. song that I think it would go to. to. I, 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 I've always thought the beginning to where the bass drops of Hell's Bells would be fucking dope. But um, yeah, like just the slow beginning would be so sick. But um, <laughs> anyway, I would get out there, and there would be times, you know, we have to wait usually five minutes before the queue would start, and then we walk out. But um, I always, you know, we first off we get together, we do a little prayer, and then we, you know, I would just start walking back and forth, not trying to trip on him because he would sit in the middle of the fucking thing. <laughs> Damn it! Awesome. I would walk back and forth, you know, kind of get inside, get in the zone. You don't talk, you just focus, and. Uh, I would always put my hand in the blacksmith shop door. From what I understand, from what I've heard, I could be completely wrong, but from what I've heard, that the doors on the blacksmith shop are one of the still one of the authentic pieces of the original ghost town setup there before they revamped it and they've obviously replaced things. Yeah. But the doors there and the handles are still original from way back in the day at Knox. Yeah. So that's been there since the first haunt. I would always put my hand on there, put my hand on the handle and just have a moment and think like not only is haunt such an iconic event for so many people, which is awesome in itself. And that's why we work it. But like that specific year, that specific night, you and that specific character in Ghost Town, it's never gonna happen again. Mm -hmm. You are you are a part of not only Haunt and this grand tradition, but like you are that monster in that zone in that year. It's never gonna happen again. You're, never part, gonna, you're part of history going forward. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and and, and yeah. touching that you know, that door and just put my hand on it and thinking of all the greats that have came and you know and left like 
you are part, you're walking into those footsteps of everyone that's ever made that event haunt. Mm -hmm. And you are now a part of that. Yeah. And man, if that doesn't fire you up, like to stare and to, to want to be like, I want to put, I want to just be a monster. I want to put my footprint here. I want to be a part of this. I want to be in 10 years when some kid's doing the same thing. I want to be one of those people they think about mm -hmm. yeah. when they're, you know, to pay homage sort of like want to step up to that, you know? And, and that fires me up to be on Ghost Town. So, I mean, as far as advice to this kid, audition wise, just go in there. Don't be afraid to make yourself a fool. Yeah, be insane. That's, that's, that's yeah, the biggest yeah. thing. Just don't be afraid to, like, be also, like I, I said before, don't be open. Be afraid to be open-minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, yeah, whether if you get like, you, uh, whether if you get like, uh, what, go, not Ghost Town, but like Boardwalk, or if you get a maze, mm -hmm. that's you know, this is where that's where like people like start at too. That a lot of people that became iconic characters mm -hmm. today, like Glow, yeah, yeah. Merrick, there um, became this started from mazes, yeah, and um, which Glow started from like a favorite maze that she like kind of like this. Pardon me, inspired me to do what. I am to this day was a silent uh, maze mm -hmm. and so um, things like that you just like I wish that I was part of it too but I'm very blessed and to be part of like I started from like streets like marking like kind of semi marking street mm -hmm. um, but yeah then like but people like I would say start there and then but like you're, that's your way of like scaring uh, like scaring having fun but your way to like develop to go to another level. I agree. When yeah. I was when I was last year when I was casting people for paranormal, I left slots open for like about half my maze to be rookies, mm -hmm. and I did that intentionally because I knew that those are the kids. Because I was eighteen at one point, and I came in bright eyed, bushy tailed, just wanting to party, and that's what I could coach. I don't know as if I can coach a ton of creativity, but I can, I can. Uh, control chaos i guess but i left that spot open and a lot of people that failed street auditions i picked them right up because i knew that they wanted to prove something they wanted to go out there and they wanted to party and i can that was me yeah so i get it yeah and you know my first night as a cast lead i had all of them line up face to face with each other and i have them all shake the hand of the person across from them and i had each one of them tell each other you know tell the person across from you you're badass you're the best monster in this maze you're gonna make this maze amazing and have them all tell that to each other. Because that's the mentality you have. So whether it's in maze or in streets where you end up, mm -hmm. you're a crucial part, like I said, of that year, of that maze at Haunt. And there's never gonna be something like that again. There's never gonna be a paranormal 2019 again. Mm -hmm. It's never gonna happen, right? So put your foot on that, right? Put your name on that, mark that time, mark that day, mark that year. Because you know when you think back to that, you're gonna be the person that all these guests, I can tell you right now, 2000 to 2004, Voodoo Witch Project slash Blood Bayou is my favorite maze of all time. Mm -hmm. And I'll always remember it in those glory years. I'll never forget it. Yeah. You know, people aren't, and, and I, I'll meet, it's very rare, but I'll meet people, I've met people before them. They're like, yo, I was in that maze in like, oh, one. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> like, you were in that? Yeah. That maze was fucking awesome, you know? And, and it inspires me too. So like, you can be that. It doesn't mean if you're just on streets, you can be in a maze and be like, yo. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. And then we went out one maze of the year, and I'm super fired up for my cast about that. Oh, I was man. super, I was super happy. So that's all I wanted to ask me. That's a, no, that's an accomplishment right there, though, yeah. man. Like to, for you to go out there and, and be part of the team that got that award, and you know, just have a good, yeah. good cast and a good crew. I was very lucky. Yeah. That's fucking awesome, man. I was very, I was very lucky, and yeah. uh, you know, it's it's just one of those things. Like for this kid. Go out and be insane. And no matter where you go, just be fired up that you're at haunt. Yep. Yeah. You're at this fucking event that's like it's 2020 it's haunt. It's the granddaddy of a haunt. It is. Like that, the haunt community, just think about that in general. Think about like how we have like Universal Orlando, they have these haunts all over the place. Like technically speaking, like the first big like theme park one, it's not. It's nuts. It's and, nuts. I, and it started so many traditions from yep. there. Cause yeah. you look at sliding, for example, it started there. It started yeah. there and they take it and it's gone. Yeah, it's everywhere. Throughout the United States. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not yeah. just in California now. It's gone to like places like Pennsylvania, fucking Florida. Yeah. It's 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 worldwide now. It's mm -hmm. this thing that started in Buena Park, California. This little freaking thing that people were like, I'm gonna try this. Yeah. And now it's like a freaking worldwide phenomenon. Yeah, right. People do it and, for a living. Now. And that's even more to the effect of like when you go out there. Do epic shit. Yeah. Don't 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 live up to like what you think the standard is. If you're about to go get water, do another lap. Like, 
if you're about to take a break, hit one more slide. Like you don't know the thing that you could do or the person that you can inspire that can be like, look, I'm gonna try that when I get back home in Florida or Pennsylvania or whatever. Yeah. And you can be the catalyst for that. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that's why you should do it for glory, but I'm saying you should do it just because you could have that impact on people. Definitely. So to this kid that wants to do it, I would just say get fired up, get excited, because no matter where you're gonna be, you're gonna be a part of Haunt, which is so exciting. Yeah. And obviously don't curse in your audition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't curse. Use the room. Don't touch people. Say, hey, use the room. Be loud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, be aggressive. Which is probably better advice than me just saying ghost sounds awesome. But you're right. Yeah, I'm saying, like, when you said like a marketing yeah. uh, aspect of ghost town, yeah, you can do it great. But yeah, say so use the room. Just be loud. Um, don't be afraid to make a fool of yourself because those scenarios. And don't stop. Yeah, don't stop. Keep going. Don't, keep going until they tell you to stop. Don't go up until a point where you think, okay, that's it. Like that's it for me. Yeah. Keep going until they tell you, okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. Like you push yourself to do that. Yeah. yeah be. Yeah. Don't. I mean, I know Gary doesn't live up to the rules of don't touch the, the, the uh, auditioners because he used to do crazy shit. <laughs> but he was one of those guys where it's like, well, we know it's Gary. He's been here for 20 years. Yeah, I know he's doing. Years, yeah. But, you know, don't touch the auditioners and stuff. But, but yeah, definitely keep going and, and walking confident, man. Mm -hmm. Not cocky, but walking confident. Like, you, you should be excited. You should be excited to be there. You should be knowing what it entails. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, you're there for a reason. Yeah. It's not by chance you're ending up in that room. Mm -hmm. So... Give it your all. Give it your 110%. Yeah. That would be my definitely. advice to this kid, man. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, next question we have is from the Brick Monster, and he asks, what, <laughs> what is he was... Is a Brick? Is that his character? Right? I, uh, it's kind of I fucking know. sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just molds into different crevices. <laughs> like, just blending in, and then he just comes out at you. Yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> like, that's, there's a blend in the Forsaken, like, little, like, little that's opening like right there. School, that's, that's, like, right. that's some old school notch right there. Yeah, that's, that's a little key kind yeah. of tight. That would be some shit that you would see back in this. That's a character, like, that's a... Over the top character, like I would never even think of. Like I'm a brick. Yeah, I'm a brick. <laughs> Not you pitching that to the. Audition. Would it be a brick wall? Yeah, would it be a brick, brick wall? Be the ghost yeah. town cactus. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I really want to see. If anyone auditions, try to try to be a cactus. Or tumbleweed. I've always oh, wanted to see that. Dude. Tumbleweed, tumbleweed would, would be dope. I, 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 I want to see an alligator because Knotts was an so famous. Would be cool. Knotts was so famous for the alligator farm back in the day. Right, that's true. That's a good point. I'm glad they have a catawampus now. I was yeah, dude. back in the day. We were like, dude, catawampus was really dope. That was yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, actual yeah. catawampus. Something that I mistaken for yeah. many times this season. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's <Yeah. laughs> like Disney's coming down to sue somebody right yeah. now. <laughs> Uh, he asked, "What was or is there uh, your guys' favorite uh, haunt or maze that you've ever been to or experienced?" You just said it. it, it, it at Knotts, it would be it would be Blood Bayou slash Thirteen Acts Murder Manor, yeah, which are both in Mystery Lodge and they back to back each other. So Blood Bayou ended and then Thirteen Acts began. But those mazes, if you have the chance to watch like flow throughs of those mazes online, like TPA flow throughs, yeah, dude, like those mazes were like so next level mm -hmm. as far as back in the day i mean now obviously you got like paranormal and origins where you're walking you're like oh shit yeah mm -hmm. sometimes now it's not, maybe you don't even do that anymore because that's just the standard that knots has now mm -hmm. so it's you know i remember the first year paranormal came out oh, we all God. went through that yeah. on honors night uh, yeah, yeah. So we were like man this guy walked through was like, oh my we god were, this is beautiful yeah we were like that that was blown away we we're blown away that was when right when we came out we we're like this is going to be like the oh, number one coming yeah. out this year <laughs> but, but now that's kind of just like the standard right you walk into a maze that first time you're like this is beautiful and then you're yeah. like well it's john or oh it's ted or oh yeah, like it's, these it's, you know pops brand like they all designed this like of course yeah. daniel miller like this is the standard now yeah. you know um but <clears throat> back in those days there were scenes and sets from 13 acts where we were just like holy shit like yeah this is 2005 and they're doing this yeah like, whoa well, yeah. the magic's gonna happen in 2019 definitely mm -hmm. definitely those Two mazes for me were, were my were my favorite. Um, I say like we just talked about uh, paranormal and um, I say origins was my favorite too. I was ever. Uh, um, ever? Uh, I, gosh, cause I have a lot. I don't know if that was a question. Um, I mean, it could be any 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 any. I would say also the um, I would say forevermore. Was that it was forever? Very yeah, good. that was Adrian really. Lowell. Yeah, because right when it was like the last stride, last like their last year, yeah, it just was. You could kind of tell I just needed to uh, go, I needed to leave. Um, but it was but that right in that beginning one, because I was there when I think like when I started, they had that mm -hmm. during the time, and I was mm -hmm. I was so amazed. Yeah, I was amazed when they had that too. So, Definitely. Yeah, but I mean, for me, I want to say like two thousand two thousand nine was my first year of going. I think I know you. No, it's not. That. It's I. I personally think like in terms of like favorite. It's like it's going to scare me every time when I think about it. Is Dolph Factory? 
Yeah, it was one. Yeah, yeah. Or normal. Or I'm sorry, slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. Yeah, yeah, say, so. yeah, because back in 2009 when I went, it was Doll Factory and Slaughterhouse were there, and me. Uh, you can actually check out my YouTube channel. Is still up. It's called Not Scared from Roaches. I used to do event, uh, updates, yeah, you know, like about the event. I did it for many years. Um, I heard about it from my sister beforehand about like what haunt was, and it was like back. She said she had like, an encounter in like the swamp scare zone back in the day. Yeah, I remember. I was just like, "What? What is this? Like, uh-huh. What are you talking about?" They changed Not Scared from and It's kind of similar to how Aaron was like, "What? They bring in corn?" I was trying to process. Yeah. Like, my third grade mind was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" So that's when YouTube was still becoming a thing, like, st- like starting to become like. Like it was a thing, but it yeah, was a thing. Like was and so I looked up Not Scary Farm, and there was all these videos. I remember just looking at it and being like, I want to go to this. It took three years of convincing for my parents to let me go. And 2009 was the first time I got to go. And walking to, I remember the, literally walking into Ghost Town that first time. I, I was so stuck. I talked to everyone in my family going. I walked in there and I was scared shitless. I was like, I don't want to fucking do this. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. My mom and dad's like, great. Well, we spent all this money, but we're dragging. <laughs> you know, you're so doing you're, it. Yeah, you're doing yeah, it. I know Steve and Tracy, dude. They're, they're not going to. Well, and I remember walking through and they were like, great, we're doing a maze because that's what we're doing. Doll Factor's the first one. I was absolutely fucking terrified. Yeah. I only did two mazes that night. Doll Factor and Slot House. Everything else, I was like, no, I'm good. Dude. I'm chilling. I'm good, I don't need to do this. I'm good. I'm right here. Doll Factory, though, was. That was legit. When he's talking about amazing talent coming from maze, there's like. A couple mazes in haunt history that have sprouted just multiple exceptional talent. Doll Factory is one, Factor. Asylum is another. Where, one. like, yeah, where it's like, yo, the, the caliber of talent that came out of that maze, like, is insane. But those are the times where I think, like, the, the amount, like, the amount of, like, stories that they talk about those, like, mm-hmm. and from Doll Factory to Asylum, just, like, I wish I was there to, like, just to be part of it. Yeah. be part of it, not only be a part of it, but be as a guest to be, see that. And be just totally expired to, to do something like Yeah, they were dope. You know, I wanted to do. And to that's stay. what I tried to do when I was a lead is like, I wanted to try to manipulate that feeling of like, yo, we're here, like, we're a family, like, can't. Like, that's because back in the day of Haunt, you had to be on Maze. Like, you would start and you were in a Maze. Mm-hmm. And then you're in a Maze for like three, four years, sometimes more, before you had an opportunity to be on streets. You couldn't audition straight for streets back in the day. I think that changed in like 2011, maybe 10. You could audition. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that was a big thing. Yeah. And. So because of that, you had people that really got really good and really family oriented and they were that group. And Asylum, those mazes were so good because every year it would be that same cast that were friends that were like, yeah, we're all going back, right? We're all going back to Asylum. Mm-hmm. And they would just rock it year after year after year after year and just yeah. make it into amazing, yeah. And so, you know, I, from what I understand, a, a good amount of my cast went back to Paranormal this year, which is awesome. I'm stoked to see that, that they wanted to do that. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, that, one that scares me a lot. Every yeah, what are your guys' favorite mazes? Well, I mean, I've had a ton. I mean, you can't even... If we're talking about different events, I mean, it's like... I have a ton. One that scares me every time I go into it, though, believe it or not, it's a, it's like the underdog is Dark Entities. Entities was solid this year. Shout out to Alyssa the Leaf. Entities was solid this year. It was. It was my only, was my only disappointment for that maze is every time we went, the line was short. And I was like, this maze deserves a little bit more. That's kind of it. It was, that it was the placement. Yeah. And, so, and back in the day when it used to be. We get out of the one. And yeah, yeah. Back to back, yeah. Be, it was locked down into uh, delirium. And so yeah. that's because it constantly pushed everyone through. But yeah, because yeah. of that, it makes it a little bit harder. But, I mean, like, there's something about it, like, just the sci-fi aspect of it like I'm a, I'm a sci-fi geek about that so like when I walk through it the first two things that come to mind are Alien and The Thing yeah I like those are the first two things that come to mind I'm like they're bringing my freaking something that I fear to life freaking a mixture of freaking The Thing monster and the Xenomorphs freaking and they're doing this and I'm just like every time I walk through it the shit I see in that maze it like it, it I have legit phobias of like just really spider like creatures and shit like that <laughs> I mean I can do good like they're like there's the character in ghost town like that doesn't bother me but like yeah legit like if I see a giant spider in the maze like I'm gonna fucking lose my shit I'm gonna like act like a little bitch yeah you know? I, I, was, that was the first maze I've ever seen him go you need to go in front of me there used to be a maze called curse of the spider woods slash curse of the spider where back in the day i think 2006 or 7 you would love that no nah. <laughs> you would yeah. love that well, i think i think mine is origins okay. origins are specialized origins was just so beautiful like, yeah, i agree it yeah, was such a it was such a beautiful yeah visually beautiful it's a complete love letter to ghost town yeah like, that it's a good way to put it that's a good way to put it that cannot be undone okay it's just it there was great scares in there but like, he, he, I could just walk through that maze, no scares, just walking through it and just be like, that was yeah. I love the amount, of, the amount of Easter eggs put in detail for that because like, whether you walk through as a guest, you're getting scares, but if you walk through as a fan, 
you can just you see all the little details like the yeah. haunted shack sign that was above when you when you walked out where there's a dead and horse. See, there. like every time we went like, through it, like, yo, I like never. I would always just oh, okay. like, for, I would forget about yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I would go yeah. in with the focus of like I'm gonna try to find these, and then I go in, I just get too distracted, like I forgot. Yeah, did there's, you see Seymour on the chair? Did you guys see that? The what? You Seymour on the chair. The, the yeah. stump. No, so Seymour is like, uh, like way back in the day, way, haunt. way, right when he started. He's an entertainer, and that was like the big drawing for Halloween Haunt back then. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and so inside the maze, there was a certain point is when you walk into the haunted shack before you walk down the uh, phobia tunnel where the yeah. walls were blown up. He was there was a skeleton that was dressed exactly oh, like yeah, that's sitting that's in a chair. Yeah, yeah, that's what that a little, is. As you said, it's perfect love letter not only to Ghost Town but to Haunt as well too. Because yeah. there, there was little Easter eggs. I don't know if you guys saw. Uh, right before you walked into the witch scene, there was a uh, like the shrine with all the different baby heads on it, yeah. and each baby head was a representation of every scare zone at Knott's. So oh. they had one that was had like a fish head that was forsaken, yeah. had a clown one for boardwalk, yeah. and then they had a I think it was a pumpkin for uh, and like the arrow walls period. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Like you know, like again, didn't yeah. know that that was until I, after I got on the podcast. I was like, that's fucking group. I don't yeah, know if yeah, you guys right. saw this. So there was one thing, and you guys would know how um, how Gary's face looks. Yeah, Gary's face is there. Gary's right. face was in there. The, the spaz, spaz, his that was, the spaz, his uh, prosthetic right. face. I went. There's a corner. I don't remember where exactly, dude, but there's. I had a cameo in that. Movie, and, dude. Yeah, 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 I was not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, PTSD, PTSD, PTSD. Like, oh, PTSD. That's actually one of the yeah. few things. It wasn't even hurt. It was just that the air cool. that <laughs> caught me off guard. And yeah. scared. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. That, but like that, that part was when they had they had her. Like they had his face on there. I think there was different other like different faces. We actually have a, a funny story about the bride. Um, oh boy. Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell me about. Some- no, it was uh, it was something we were just chilling right there in front of the um, the Undertaker. The Undertaker porch. Oh okay, yeah. And <laughs> this guy comes up to us and he goes, um, "You see, the, he's like, hey, I mean, she's 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 an interesting character, huh?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I definitely think like she's a really cool character. Like I I like the way she looks. She looks badass and fucking scary at the same time." Yeah. You know? <laughs> he goes. I can't, I can't um, help but feel scared, but very attracted to her at the same time. <laughs> oh god! And I was like, hmm. I was like, and I, just to get him out of here, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I get that. And then he just walked away, and I looked at him, and I'm like, what the fuck did we just walk into? Welcome to Someone with a very not. interesting personal life. Yeah. That's who you just ran into. It was like, what, what and I thought mean? Hot for Hostel was one scary, weird thing, but. Is that a thing? That's apparently a thing. Yeah, there's apparently a like, president and fucking founder. Yeah, right? yeah. chairman yeah. of the Hot for Hostel. I'll take that. Yeah, there's, 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 makes a motorcycle vest, Hot for Hostel. I want to make a freaking jersey out of it. That's like blood. It says hot for hostel. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, that's a scratch and sniff. It's barbecue <laughs> sauce. It's a scratch and sniff. Yeah. Damn, this is good. Sweet. Yeah. Go hot from it. <laughs> That's that's a little strange. Yeah. Oh, oh, but people awesome. are like that, man. Hey, no disrespect to people that get you know that get their kits off that, but some people are like Route sixty six. Yeah, maybe or yeah. they decided to drive. Yeah, people do that, man. Like, yeah, it's it's. They yeah. have that type of fetish. I have had people fall and grab me, and you know it's just part of the territory. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep going. I think another good way, advice for like making trees, but overall, just like when you get to like haunt, mm-hmm. have thick skin. Yeah, you have to. You have, yeah. to. You have to. You have to. You have to. Have to. Yeah, I heard say. Jen like we literally almost quit on the fourth week. Yeah, yeah. no, it, I mean it's t- especially for like females. It's t- I think society right now like the we see like the shitty part of it from like teenagers coming up because working hot. You just see like you see the. I mean, you guys as guests, there, you even fucking there was, see no, it. There was, like, there was not one fucking week, and I was just like, I'm gonna suck. Every yeah, there's yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when you get I don't out care there, if I get out. Yeah. Like, I get kicked out. I'm just the like, biggest advice people like once they get on the streets too is just like. Don't let the little things bother you. You give yeah, that's you, good. That's you good. they want you to give a reaction and that if you entertain that, they're gonna keep going and it's gonna be even worse. You're gonna get bumped, you're gonna get shoved, you're gonna do like just just at a point, like you need to know your own limits obviously, like when you feel safe and like all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So know your own limits, but have thick skin because it's gonna especially like with knots, it brings in some interesting clientele don't, sometimes. Don't let and yes, absolutely. And don't let that very like don't get confused thick skin with being comfortable. Because you gotta be a little bit, you gotta step out of your comfort zone. You do the same thing every, every night you're bored. I tell people all the time when they ask me like about streets, I tell them during rehearsals because you guys do still do street rehearsals, right? You yeah, dress, we do dress, dress rehearsals, rehearsals. scare rehearsals. school and dress rehearsals. So for scare school or dress rehearsal, I always told people like I never used to. They, they bring mo- guests like uh, monsters that are there non costume. Like they people that are in the mazes are allowed to come walk through the zone in like a big conda line because it's a rehearsal. But um, which is which is cool because a lot of people need that. 
But um, I was always taught like that, but use that time where you're out there in costume, full on, ready to go, to hit stuff, to see what sounds loud, to explore your area, see where a good hiding spot is, make a mental note of where the FOD boxes are so you don't catch a fucking ankle and kill yourself. Oh, that's, that shit will kill Like you. little things like that, yeah, like take, take into account, okay, that's glass, I shouldn't hit that. Well, no, that's there even when it's foggy and dark, or what's loud, what's gonna be a good distraction, what's good to hide behind. Because that's your opportunity to learn that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. So that's what I mean by don't be comfortable. Like, don't. Were you guys gag ordered this year, by the way? No, not at all. Did you have a script of things you had to follow? We were. Okay, okay. We, we had scripts, and then, um, well. You've been venting me, my friend. Yeah, I've been. <laughs> not really, dude. Not at all. AEW? AEW, I can. I pretty much. Well, Adam Johan says that I can say whatever I want. I'm on my. Some stuff like define whatever. whatever. I'm like whatever. I'm like whatever. Define whatever, dude. Because we say we we say a lot of things, but we don't. We make sure we don't but say everything. It's, di- yeah. it's different from what, how it used to be, right? Yeah. Like we, I couldn't yeah. run around and you'll suck it and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's way different. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. DX. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, DX. DX, DX, yeah. DX job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is which is fine. That makes sense. Like I said. They're, Character oriented stuff needs that, I think. But um, it's it's part of because of a character development. Yeah, yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes total sense. Um, but the reason I ask is just because like don't you have to scan? Absolutely, you have to, and you have to pick the right guests. Don't mm-hmm. be an idiot. Know your audience. There's know a group of girls, and then there's one dude who's six foot eight in a Raiders jersey with <laughs> net tats. Probably scare the girls. Probably scare the girls. Do what bad. you want. Do what you want. I would probably go for the dude too, but. It's not gonna turn out great all the time. Mm-hmm. Besides the test, he just described Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's my stepdad. Shout out to your stepdad. Yeah. Raiders. <laughs> Raiders are doing all right this year. Jacobs looks solid. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> uh, right now, my fantasy, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. He, he, he gets me like some points. Yeah, at least twenty points. There you go. Solid. Um, Putting up over. But yeah, don't, don't let having thick skin deter you from trying new shit and being being creative and and and, mm-hmm. and jumping off of picnic tables into slides and putting. I don't want to say put your body on the line because I don't condone that. But also kind of, kind of have to do that, you know, <laughs> like to a yeah. degree. Yeah. Everyone gets blisters. Everyone gets that shit. Yeah, I've heard Power through. so many stories. That yeah, that, something that, up and I'll go. I'll never forget that first weekend, 2015, my first weekend of Haunt ever, walking back to the car, you're just like, what the fuck just happened? Like, you're walking <laughs> everything. It feels like you've been hit by a semi-truck. Our, bu- our buddy went on, was on Prime uh, for his first night forget. ever. He forgot, he forgot socks. Oh, oh my God. And he had brand new red wing boots that he was breaking in. Oh, uh, I wish I had the picture of his god, dude. His foot, our buddy Matt. You know Matt. Oh yeah, dude. His blisters. His feet. Oh, oh dude. my god, dude. It was one big blister. He was yeah. walking on post, dude. Yeah, he had that immoral, like what, 10, 15 pound or more. Yeah, he had that mortal mass. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But blood blisters and shit. Dude, it was oh, bad god. everywhere on his foot. I don't know how he walked. Like yeah, me neither. I don't know how he did it, but he powered through. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you gotta suck it up. You gotta suck it yeah. up. And and you know, put your well, put your body on the line to an extent. And that goes with the same of having thin skin too. You just gotta, you know, sometimes people say some shit to you. It's gonna happen. It's inevitable. Either roll with the punch. Because sometimes you can give it back a little bit if it's the right situation. They say something you're like, well, come talk to me. You know, you can't be out past the street lights, man, or whatever. Yeah. You know, if they're young or whatever it is. Um, but. <laughs> Uh, you're asking me, man. You know, like recording. <laughs> don't, uh, don't, don't, don't let that deter you from going out and having fun and partying. It's either, it's either you dish it back, like you said, or just remove yourself from the situation. Or just take yourself yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, because, one, of, one of the funniest comebacks I heard this season was from AJ. Yeah, when like a little kid would come up and talk to him, he goes, "Sorry, you must be this high to talk to me." Yeah, there you go, right? Yeah. Solid, yeah. consistent one. Dude. Yeah. I was used to walk past the, the concession cards and just sit next to the girls selling shit and yell at everyone like, "Buy our soda, support our soccer team, yeah. we need new jerseys." <laughs> just, just as a fun, because I'm now I'm getting the employees involved, and they're having a great time too. Yeah, you know, they're standing there for an eight-hour shift, just kind of yeah. like, yeah, I'm yeah, fun with them too. You're, yeah. you're entertaining everybody. You know, that's our, that's our job there. But uh, I was going to make a point, and I kind of forgot what it was. But um, yeah, definitely, that's a good point. I have to stand and, and, and don't to look an that. extent, obviously. I know, like, you're going to know your own comfort levels. Yeah, like if something really bothering you, or you felt in any way, like, I don't and like that, like just. We're obviously to report it, but and in the in the nicest way possible, because I'm I'm not like I'm not employed right now by knots, right? So in the nicest way possible, just suck it up and don't be a wuss sometimes. That's just how it is. The the, the lead for depths this year, his name's Jacob, great guy, awesome dude. Um really smart, been a been a lead for a long time. Never a monster, been a lead for a long time. But last year when I was new to leading, I learned a lot from him because he led entities last year. We were bat to bat. Yeah. Shared a break room, great guy. Um, but he tells his staff, you know, when when they uh you know, because 
you get punched, kicked, whatever, you know, you report it, you know, you hear it every night, and you make sure that, the, 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 that there's no issue and that they're okay and whatever. That's part of our job. But he, you know, he says this thing to his, 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 uh, his employees too, like, you know, have you guys ever seen the movie Jaws, right? When they're all sitting around the boat and exchanging stories and stuff. That's how it is. That something, it, something's going to happen to you. If it's not a huge deal, if it's not a shark biting off your leg kind of thing, you got a story to tell. That's kind of all it is. Yeah. And now, you know, we're sitting around the table here exchanging stories of five, five years or more of things. Like, yeah. I can guarantee you a lot of these stories that we have that we're forgetting or whatever come yeah. from... I guess fucking around or some. Yeah, I guess fucking around. Uh, someone doing so, something stupid or and coming from like another haunt actor from like us. Yeah, like, yeah. Or even backstage. Yeah. Stuff like we we would do like it or um you know on streets. It's like that's how we exchange stories and that's how we I mean, you know that's how we came friends to this day. So yeah, have yeah. good skin, party have hard, skin. and don't stop. Have energy. Hard. If you're going to go take a break, a take one. another lap before you take the break. Do not stop. <laughs> honestly, one of the scariest things, and I'll, I'll say scary to an extent, of working at Haunt is when you're backstage, dude, on a Saturday night at 10 o'clock, and you're like, Fuck, I'm on a break right now, but I'm scared of what scares I'm missing out there. Yeah. Because it's chaos. Yeah, one of your scariest things is just seeing the bride backstage. Well, that's too. <laughs> that too. Trust me, I have my head on my shoulder. And, and Glow, if you're watching this, you underestimate me because I can get away from you. I'm quicker than you think I am. I'm smarter than you think I am. I know where you are. But she'll get me sometimes because people come and hold me and won't let me go. Oh, shit. But they, I think ah! she downplays me. But yeah, that's scary too. But, you know, especially on those Fridays and Saturdays, man. My first year, I cut my eyeball on a Friday night. Oh, shit. Yeah, I sliced my eye open. And I couldn't see it, and I had to go home early. And I still came in the next day on a Saturday, because how do you miss a Saturday? Yeah. You know, what are you showing them? Yeah, see, that's, that's the bullshit that happens. <laughs> that was another picture you were going to put on the show. That was too. me last year. Uh, they let all the leads go out for one night to scare. So that was me. And Jesse, who you might, I, you might have one part. I don't know. You, you Jesse, mentioned, or, Jesse, 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 Jesse on Ghost Town, Jesse. Oh, Jesse um, uh, Escalante. Escalante, great kid. He made a replica of my possum face for me to wear. Rat? Yeah, he was in Paranormal last year. Yeah, I, he was one of the monsters. Yeah, this guy's trash digger. He's great. Yeah. yeah, he's awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so glad I got to lead him, but uh, he made he made that. So that was me last year. But <laughs> there was some mo- there was like a monster named uh, I- I- like Aaron, like a like yeah, Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. Um, you know, well, a monster he, named Aaron this year. Yeah, Aaron. 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 Is it Forsaken? Yeah. No, no, it was a different one. Yeah, it was a different guy. I got it's a porcupine. guy. Oh, it was oh, a porcupine dude. Yeah. That was a sick costume. Yeah, that was awesome. That was, was dope. Yeah. That was dope. That was yeah. really sweet. Was it was funny. I, heard, I saw a funny, uh, we heard a funny story about him. Mm-hmm. There was one night the wolves were all like doing a howl and he comes out of nowhere and just goes, ah! <laughs> just screams. <laughs> yeah, because he couldn't howl. It was hilarious. It interrupts it. Um, then he came, he said on one of our comments, because we, we write on our page, we're like uh, our memorable moments. And yeah. then he said, well, my mom was walking around and was saying like, Different like good compliments about like monsters saying he she comes up to me and she goes, You know, I'm very worried about this guy, like about this monster over here. He goes, <laughs> Well what is he doing? I wasn't when I saw him I wasn't sure he was a homeless man, but he was picking out trash. Oh, they're talking about you. They were talking about there was the, you see a picture of him, she sent a picture of cause she texted him about it. She sent a picture of him. Like holding two different trash items, uh, birdcage, and you're just looking around. And you see Jesse's hair <laughs> logging. I, I, uh, um, there was a la- there was another monster that was, um, uh, I think the spider. The spider mom, like she like loved what I did, but the spider's mom told me like, like, hey, she was really worried about you for a moment because you were saying yeah, down you're, you're inside, insane. like insane, and she was like saying you're talking to yourself. She was worried worried about you. She was gonna come up to you and said. I was like, I was okay. I was like, I already told you our theory. Yeah, yeah, pretty Dude, much. I, we would be sitting around, I think I was with James one night, and we were watching you, and these these girls come up to us, and they're like, we're watching, they're, they're not coming up to us, but they're sitting next to us, and they're watching you, and they're like, yo, what the fuck is, like, this dude's really good at his job. And I lean over, I'm like, I swear to God, he does not work here. <laughs> I, I, I used to work here, I know the monster. He doesn't work here. And they're like, what? I'm like, I think he's like having an issue right now. Like, he's, I think I'm a seizure. He might need to call someone. But yeah, they were pretty tripped about it. Yeah. It yeah. Does not I had a security it. guard come up to me when, <laughs> when I first started, like, I think it was in 2016 or 17. When I started, was like in my character. I was sitting down and then, um, then I had a security guard come up to me 
and two of them, they're flashing lights. They're like, dude, is there something wrong? Do you need, do you need like <laughs> you first need aid? Attention? Do you yeah. need for, uh, first aid? Like, and then I was looking up like, they, I looked completely stupid right from, I was like, what? <laughs> and then they were like, flashing lights, like, are you okay? We, we want to make sure. And then Denise comes out, it's like, guys, guys, back up, back up. And then I had to go pull backstage. She told me like, like I'm like, were you? Were, are you okay though? I'm like, yeah, I was just doing I'm my great. Sh- I'm great. <laughs> I'm I was just fired up. Fired up right, up right now, there, dude. Yeah, but I'm just, just like, doing my vibe. Sh- yeah, like, you know, yeah, ruined my. I was like, but this whole, but they came up and just pretty much ruined it. No offense. I was like, she goes, yeah, I'll talk to them about it. And then I had another security guard came up to me like, I think like that that next couple of weeks, and she goes, don't worry about it. It's just him. And they, because they literally asked like the like Denise like, is he okay? I'm like, yeah, no, he's he's fine. Just no, let, no, just let, let him be. <laughs> I don't know if he's okay, but yeah, he's doing his thing. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if he's yeah. okay. He might but, not be all there. But, yeah, yeah, he might not be all there, but he's he's fine. Though. I'm glad to hear Jesse was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, do you guys have like the most memorable scare throughout your time? Dude. Or, yeah, well, that's, 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 uh, that's that's what we've been hearing this entire time. Really, like it's just been that, we had a whole fuck uh, I've heard a lot of like memorable moments. The thing, like, so I, I would say as far as like the thing I remember about being like well that I'm a, that I can say I guess um, <laughs> that Crip Cash doll that you guys have there uh, that, that that was like a two mile scare that was awesome we scared that girl for two miles before in my Fitbit we ran two miles chasing her Shh. credit to that girl she was 14 she must have been on a trap team she did not stop. <laughs> well, she stopped and got in the shop at one point. It just had a soccer, one of the two. Around. Yeah, and we were, you know, buddy Cam, dude, we were cooking after her. And we were, we were a little bit lit, but I mean, well, not lit, but like we were getting, like, we were getting lit out there. Yeah. And we were on like our high point, and when we were doing pop and <laughs> so we're rolling, and we're literally running through the through the crowd, just jumping on tables and jumping off them in the slides, and the whole bit. And she kept. I would say that is one of my most memorable scares. But the, the great thing about working at Haunt. And again, advice for someone that's about to work it or maybe is working it. Every night you go home, honestly, grab a notebook and just write some memorable memories down. Because 15 years from now, you'll be looking at that and being like, oh shit, I forgot I did that. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Some of my favorite parts of October are getting those Facebook memories. And I'll, I I would like kind of write little diatribes of what happened that night. Yeah. And tell you, oh shit, I, I, I threw that girl's shoe on the roof. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> or like, we scared that girl and she ran to the bakery and jumped over the counter into the back where they made the pies and oh, they called sh- security. Like, I forgot about that. Like those are all fun things, you know. But scare a group and that whole that whole group at Mingate, and I scared them through like the guest services employee side. Solid. <laughs> Did they leave? Did they leave the party? They had to. No, they were pushed back. They told them to leave. Oh, that's the they thought they were in. Leave. Yeah. Because there's two doors, and you can't tell which one's the employee side. Yeah. They ran through the employee side. Oh, great. Without uh, no intentions. That's, fuck yeah. Dude. Yeah, and then that's they. Nuts. Yeah, they they were. I would those, say the employee was just like, you gotta leave, yeah. and then the plus. Uh, one over at um, the birdcage when I that guy jumped over the the rope, oh, the Q line. Did he eat shit? Yeah. yeah it was oh, fucking his foot caught a rope. Gold. Yeah, yes. Gold. I remember looking at that. And I looked at this guy. I'm like, that was the, the red. Thing. So you know where the red uh, at birdcage? You know that red wagon cap? Yep. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. where the Q line's at. So the. I was scaring like a group of them, and then this guy took off like on the side. Like for the, the barbecue shop thing? No, no, no. 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 It was in between birdcage and the wagon. A wagon. You know where that corner is? That yeah. What, yeah. what line was there? Was that it's, the magic show? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, well, the, he was in a group, and then he, like, after I scared like that group, and he took off on that side, and then um, that he was like standing like all scary, and then he <laughs> yells out, "Oh no, I gotta get out of here!" And then he turns to the side, jumps up, then he'll jump through the rope queue, trips. On his foot and just slams aces it, full it aces it right there, That's and awesome. I just like the whole rope, there's rope cue pulls like fell down, <laughs> and then the boys are just looking like, dude. I looked at like, Sammy. I'm like, how the fuck did he not break character? Right yeah, now? I'm dying. Literally, I just I I was looking like I gotta get yeah I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah gotta get out. But I was he did his little hostage gimmick and just left. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I will say that I mean, little things are awesome. The Aside from, like I said, things I'm allowed to say because the gypsy camp stuff was fun, but I can't talk about that. Um, <laughs> uh, that was cool. But, like, me and, uh, yeah, I'll tell you off camera. Um, like, again, Spaz, right? My first, my second or third night on Ghost Town. He's showing me the ropes. I'm still a young, young lad out there. Young buck. I'm a young buck, dude, right? Like, my voice is still squeaky. Like, you know, they haven't dropped yet. And I'm trying to figure out, like, what's, what's what out here. And I'm just excited to be here. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. That's probably how I talk. 
And I would, we, I scared some girl, a couple. We, you know, rolled up on them, boom, nailed them. They fall back into the planter. The boyfriend almost falls into the fountain over by the bakery. And then she jumps out of the planter, jumps on his shoulders, and starts slapping him in the face. So he gets up, starts running. She's on his shoulders. So huh? I'm gonna jump on Gary's shoulders, and we're gonna chase each chicken fights out. <laughs> so we're chasing them down, down in a, in a gypsy camp. There, she's screaming, hitting him in the head. Look, oh my God, they're behind me! And we're chasing them like kill you, you know? <laughs> and then uh the boyfriend takes a wrong step and she goes nailing right into the right into the uh, how they opened up by ghost rider those those fences those gates right there go yeah. passage boom nails one of those goes falling down Jeez. you know we laugh for a couple seconds oh, and yeah. then you know we make it feel bad and then, and then we dip out of there but the good the good thing about knots again don't tell people for those that are working, I'll just say ghost town because I don't I've never scared well this year I scared in the other zones but Not for this past year sorry I scared in the other zones um, but I, I can tell you on Ghost Town, I, the way I think of scaring, which is a little different as if you're rolling constantly, is it's kind of like a dance, it's kind of like science. Mm -hmm. You should always see opportunities and know when they're going to be there and hit them when they come. Mm -hmm. I, Gary always taught me, like, if you see a trash can, take that trash can and reset it about three feet from a bench. And every time you come by in your lap, slam that trash can into the bench of whoever's sitting there. And then when you come back again, reset it. That way the next time you come back again, boom, hit it again. Know who's there, know your surroundings, know when the lines are gonna be big. That's good to know. Know when the good. magic know when the magic show is getting out. And make sure you hit it right when that crowd's coming out. 930, cool. It's about to be out. There I'm rolling. Or at the, the magic show sometimes. After the magic show gets yeah. out. Yeah. Or like, magic boom, show. when's the hanging over? Cool, because I know that crowd's coming. Yeah, Hangs yeah. over at 1030. Cool, I'm gonna make sure I time my lap so I'm right in Calico Park at 10.30 and I'm catching that crap. Yeah. You know, it's you gotta kinda be cerebral about it, it's like a dance. Or you can lose your mind like Lucio, which is yeah, equally needed. I, oh yeah. Yeah, more or less. But you, you know, it's kinda like a song or dance, knowing where to, you know, I would hit laps and I would do different things, but it's like a fluid motion, you know, looking ahead five guests and knowing, cool, I'm gonna go left, right, left, slide here, boom, up, down, jump, down, over. Get get used to that. Like cheat codes right there. Yeah, kind of. Well, you yeah, get used to it. L one R two. And that's how I was able to just roll for so long since I knew what I was gonna do. Probably yeah. didn't. It. I knew when I was in Birdcage that over in Bullet, and they have the photo booth. I knew as soon as I was in Birdcage when I'm in Bullet, when I come out of that tunnel in Bullet, if I see people coming down those stairs, I got about four or five seconds before they hit the photo booth. So I'm gonna stutter and then come boom, hit that booth right when they're coming down that photo booth. Boom, slide, scare them all. Keep going. You know, like be cerebral about it, kind of. And I know that takes that that comes with experience of like being out there and knowing what to do, what to hit, what's loud, and what's not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying during rehearsals and stuff. It's good to hit things. That would be my advice for anyone that's at home: is learn your area, learn your zone, and please memorize where the fog boxes are. Because if you catch one of those fuckers to the ankle, it will not be a good day. No, it's not. It's, it's like stubbing a toe. No, it's, 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 it's fucking gnarly. It leaves a nice little room. fuck. Like nice. It's it's, it's a, a so scab yeah. that lasts. All month long. I learned my lesson too. I think I think every mm -hmm. ghost head monster has learned their lesson mm -hmm. once or twice about yeah. that. That's like a that's like a mark. The one on blacksmith time. flight just gets me every damn time. What? I don't even though like I know where it's at, but like sometimes I'm like inches thing I'm inches away from it, but nope. <laughs> Hit my phone. <laughs> but um Tell me. I'm just saying there's probably I mean, technically like one of the most memorable would probably be like my my first scare ever on Fiesta because like for me for so long I had anticipated going like to Knott's is I worked at a independent haunt for four years before I went to Knott's. It's called the Empty Grave. We used to be at the Anaheim. Shout out to our yeah, empty shout out to Empty Grave. grave. Um, that's the one where him and I first started too. But we I started there for four years, so I had this big anticipation leading up to go to Knott's. I remember my first night, <laughs> busting a nut all over Knott's. Dude. I was ready. I had a nine o'clock start time my first year. It was the worst thing ever. Remember, I got there opening night, hoping okay, maybe they're gonna let me start early. Nope, my ass sat back there, literally just like at cruising. I was like, There's... "Thank God, though, I forgot my shoes opening night, dude." I rolled up, when my stomach dropped, and I'm about to go out there, and I don't have slider shoes. All I got are white vans, and I'm like, "Dude, you start at nine, please go back." He went back to my house and OG and got my <laughs> shoes, bro. Shout out to Wyatt. Nice. Yeah, I remember that. That's that first walk out, and then just going out there and hitting that first stair, being like. Oh fuck! Here it's it's like a it's like a drug. It's yeah. like you, you get a little taste of it. And you're like, I never want this to end. Yeah. So that was that was a good one. But I think uh, my last year was 2018. Uh, I forget who the other monster was, but we were at Ghost Rider right by that fountain uh, across from like the uh, the pie shop right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Uh, I was coming back from like the Gypsy Camp gate, and the other monster I can't remember who it was. They were coming this way. And I was already chasing this girl, and she just does like a looks back at me. Nope. Looks forward. Nope. Just kind of. 
weighs her options. I don't know why she went to the left, but she like cannonball style jumped into the fountain and just got completely <laughs> soaked. And I still, I remember looking at the other monster just being like, "Fuck, all right, like that. That was fucking yeah, phenomenal. That one off Achievements. Like, yeah, you yeah. just kind of look at each other like that just fucking happened. But I think, I mean, other than like it's like you guys were saying, it's kind of hard to remember like a lot of things if you don't write it down. But yeah. for me, I just I was always so excited to go out there every night and try something new. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually really happy I had a chance to be in Fiesta my first year. Didn't wear, I mean, most people you see now, like you said, everyone wants to go back on streets to slide. They want to do that. My first year, which was 2015, um, no pads were allowed. You can wear, if you weren't certified, you could not wear them. So for me, it was like, a, okay, like I have to develop this sugar scroll character. I don't know still to this day what I did, but I did it. Uh, it kind of helped me gain my, uh, get my footing on streets and then jumped over to Ghost Town and then having the guidance of, of this one, and Lucio and Vile, these other people that, you know, for years I was huge fans of and watched them and now I actually had a chance to go out and scare. I didn't write anything down like an idiot, but there's still plenty of memories that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, every possum party that we did, there was just something, we brought a new element. Um, it's, it's just hard to remember a lot of them because there's, in that moment, you just kind of, there's just so much going on that you kind of forget. But you, you always remember those, those big ones that pop in, but I think the, the fountain one sticks. I never saw it, that girl going head first into the pole. I but scared. After I scared Yeah, I saw it, man. That was bloody. But like, that, I'm, I'm bloody. <laughs> she lost a tooth or something, dude. That, that, was, <laughs> that, that that's probably stay up there, too. But uh, <laughs> That's the best scary you never saw. Never, best scary you never the fucking best saw. Best scary you never saw, but so I heard so much oh, of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, no. Everyone heard it loud, too. Everyone on the ride felt it. The ride had to have shook a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It was a little terrifying, man. I will say, well, they, they've been getting that one guess, man. Man, they're really stepping up with these rides, yeah, man. <laughs> Maybe not. People are like, yo, they need to maintain this ride. <laughs> it's a little shaky. It's a little um, shaky over here. But, you know, I will say this year as guests, like, you know, you Dude, guys it, did great in every every zone. Yeah, this fantastic. Was, this was the like, first year for me since 2011 that I wasn't scaring at some haunted event. And it was honestly the most, like, refreshing feeling to mm -hmm. me. Because kind of like Aaron's, like, you, you want to keep changing things up, but there comes a point that you're kind of like, you know what, like, kind of, you know, I've gotten my fill, like, real life kind of starts taking precedent, you want to kind of start focusing on that, that's perfectly fine, because having this year off really brought that, that passion back for me, that you kind of start to lose a little bit, great, like, gradually over time of, you're constantly doing the same thing over and over again, yeah. but coming back as a guest this year was honestly the most fun, I, we went to, I, I think I went to Nantes like 19 times this year. I'd get off work at like 10 or 11. Dude. What else am I going to go the do? The pass is awesome. The, oh the my pass God. is great. Let me tell you. Pass Wait, awesome. We went 20 this time. So to be like, able to dude. leave Haunt at 1130 and crush a double-double from in and out is like, dude, that makes me still like get that was so, us. He gets, he gets so, That was us except the munchie meals from Jack. Oh, Pops. dude. That was solid, dude. Yeah, also I feel solid. It. I feel it. But yeah, they was, I went to, I went to Universal four steak times. Steak and Steak and Parm. Steak and Parm. Steak and Parm. It was just, uh, just having like the year off and being able to go and explore all these other haunts. Because when when you work haunt, you're literally there. I mean, you get you have certain nights that haunted nights that you don't really you get a chance to go see them. But it's on like a, a Monday or a Tuesday, and most of us that have like full time jobs are going and working those. Uh, you know, make up for the time that you're at not. So it's hard, but having a year off was fun. Yeah, it does. Say, mm -hmm. Getting I mean, getting this like what I used to do is literally I used to. Just, Take my camera, I would go and I'd sit and I'd film all these guys scaring for the longest time. Right? And I was an update there for the longest time. That's all I did. You guys will get, you guys will want to, you guys will work there eventually. Yeah, no, it just happens. It just, yeah. it gradually it's, happens. But it, it's, it's one of those things too that's like, you know, he's saying it's so refreshing and it is. And, you know, like you were just saying, like, oh, like, you should come back so we can watch. Like, if, if you're passionate about it and you really love it, it's in your blood. It's never going to leave. Yeah. Yeah. We're planning, I mean, at one point I'll come back. I don't know if it's going to be when I'm 32 or with a family or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll come back eventually and do a year or two, but you know it's it's in your blood. So it's good to have that like one year off and what you know what I mean. No, like, every now and then yeah, it's just sure. like like you guys said it was like it was good. It was a refreshment. No, it's, it's, it's especially yeah. it's yeah. The, the people that have been going for you know seven, eight years, ten years, however long they've been going like consecutively, like more power to them. But for me, I was like it. I'm 22, so like I I still have like a long life ahead of me. But hopefully, um, <laughs> but. <laughs> But it was uh, real life takes precedent. I have a solid job. I just want to, you know, focus on that. And, yeah. You know, no, just kind of get that going. Like, like he said, it's always going to be in your blood. Like it's, it's always, always going to be there. there. It's always going to be there. Hopefully. I mean, we don't, we never know. The economy is man. You're not knocking on wood. You're going to get positive, dude. Yeah, it, it but, always no, it's just, yeah, it's, it's always going to be there. And I mean, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for like, it's like I said, it's always going to be there for me. Like him and I, like we didn't know each other 
outside of Scary Film. Like that's yeah. we, our friendship started because of Scary Film. Yeah. We literally Same met with, through yeah, through Sam YouTube. Tim. Like um, I've met most of my most of like our friend group all got brought together literally because of knots. Like the YouTube videos made on them because of the hot community. Like the, the the memories that you're gonna make and like the friends and the family that you're gonna like get along with it. Like it honestly, it, it's a whole different community. Like yeah, like mm-hmm. you have your moments where you know things are down, but it's. It's fun to be a fan again. No, it is. I'm glad you brought up that YouTube thing then, because that is exactly why I think this is going as successful as it is. No, yeah. and then say no. It, you literally hit me up. Was like, I would love to be on the show. There, there's a market for mm-hmm. what you guys are doing. Yeah, that's yeah. why I say like 100. I was like, we would love to have you. And whole, I'm glad we said yes. I appreciate the that. whole. No, I'm so glad we said yes. The whole way it started for me was I remember 2008. Like I said, YouTube was kind of just starting to get like its its peak. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was I just want to look up not stuff, and I got onto Universal. It was these kids that were doing updates on Halloween Horror Nights, and I was like, "Yo, this is really tight. Like, I want to go to this event." But I noticed it was like no one's doing this for Scary Farm. So for that, for 2009 for Christmas, I asked for a flip camcorder, and I was like, "I'm gonna start doing it." So I started doing updates on. I think the first update I ever did was about Alien Annihilation or Fall Alien Alien that Annihilation. Was Fallout Shelter, dude. It was like Fall Shelter was coming or something like that, but. It started and then it it grew. Like it progressively got better, more people got excited, and then it became a thing where at that point it was the only way to get hot information because they would update their Twitter with like certain things. We would go and cover build footage. Like it was ways for people to that didn't get a chance to go to Nazi around and see this stuff. Mm. It got them excited, it got the you know, the marketing to it. And now look at what Nots does. Like they do like that giant pass holder preview event. They do like certain things. I think social media and like marketing wise, it's grown so it's much. Grown yeah. so, much. Yeah. so it's like you guys are in like the perfect market for like, if I could start back updating, eh, maybe, I'll see. I, I, I dabble in it. Just bring the flip camera back? Just some collabs. Just do it, I'll say, you never bring know. You know, let me say, I, I, my last video ever was 2015. I just said, once I got to work on it, I was done. So I made like this giant video, like this giant, like goodbye, all the stuff. So I mean, it. It's definitely a lot of work. Never say never, man. Motley Crue signed a freaking uh, I know, Boys, or now they just announced today that yeah, Boys are, right? Poison, Def 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 Poison, Def Leppard. And I was like, oh, shout out to Mark Ed Cobb, am I right? Shout out to Boy Ed Jerry. Yeah, I mean, why, 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 why hit it right on the point, right? Where you guys are in such a good market right now for this because people want to know what it's like backstage, what it's like behind the mask. And like, I didn't really have that when I was coming up, and. I kind of wish I did know who the, who the hell was staring me, you know? Just not like who they are necessarily, but like how they got into this and what they do and how they do it. Like, people want to know. Kids want to know. And, you know, I, I don't know if you have any other questions, but like, obviously, just by people sending that to you, like, people are interested. People are interested, people, yeah. People, people it's awesome that you guys are doing this, man. Yeah. And that's, that's something that when we decided to do this, and we say it every show, it started with four. And then it just branched out to like business card after business card after business card. Yeah, after yeah, business. yeah, yeah. And <laughs> so many people were replying to, you know, coming on that when we got people that I was like, all right, I mean, it's good to ask. Maybe we won't get them, but you know, at least they know who we are. Uh-huh. And when they replied yes, I was like, what the fuck? They're like, did right. we just get this person? We got freaking yeah. hostile. I was like, did we just what? To a yeah. degree, too, you know, just human nature. People are talking about themselves, too. So it's awesome yeah. that you guys give a platform when we can right right work. <laughs> I'm just talking, I, talk, talk, talk. I never had an opportunity to actually talk yeah, exactly, about exactly. what I want. I I do yeah. out there, and I had that opportunity to like do something like that. Yeah, yeah it's and, nice. It's know. nice to and, uh, break that wall. Again. We break the wall. we 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 just when we got Merrick and then with Lucy and Billy, and then like even all the rookies this year. Like I've heard so much great stories from them. Yeah. Like I was just like just psyched to see that how pumped they were to go out there every night. Mm-hmm. That's how, awesome. How pumped they are to want to come back next year. Yeah. How pumped they are to like, like for example, Jen saying, I don't care if I slide, I just want my character back. I just want to try to expand on that character. I don't even care if I slide. I just want to do something with that character, you know? Like for people who are so passionate enough to like want to come back and just do that, like we've heard such great things this year. And that is why... We are doing what we're doing this month is because, and we're gonna start doing it every month of November, starting from here on out. It's every year, every year, every year, every month. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, is because we are, we just appreciate the art that goes into scare acting. Yeah, the art that I mean, if we can do a month where we can get people who do behind the scenes shit, I would love to because me and this guy, we did a lot of behind the scenes shit in high school for fucking our theater. Mm-hmm. So we know we, we know the struggle of how it is to not only train 
it's just scare actors, but we know the struggle of how it is to build, how it is to set up lights, to yeah. make the audio cues, it's everything, yeah. the costumes, everything. We know the struggle of how hard it is, but when it comes together in the end, it puts on one of the greatest fucking shows in the world. Yeah, I mean, you're exactly right, you know, and, and you guys are looking at getting like some sort of media pass or something next year, because there's all sorts of fun stuff you guys can We do would love to, um, but you know, it, it ultimately, it. if Knotts wants us, I mean, we, would, we, would, we, would, we would love it. If they, if, if, if they feel we're not ready yet, we respect their decision, and we're still going to keep coming. Well, I can tell you, as far as like just, just being on that side of the fence and management wise, like you know, everyone is extremely grateful for people like you guys, and like every it's, guest, it's like, free it's, marketing. It, it, and not only that, like it's just so awesome to see like people Passion. are so affected by this event. Like yeah. that means honestly, I can tell you, like from Brandon and Pasta and all of us, we have our management meetings, right? Like, like it's so when you hear the count of like, all right, tonight we got like forty thousand or whatever, they're like, yo. This is fucking gonna be awesome! Like I can't wait for that. You know, and it's not. It's not. Oh man, Howard demands forty thousand. Like they're excited to have you guys there. They're yeah. excited to like get you guys like into the park and get you excited. Which is also why I love that pass. We're excited to be there just every you know, weekend. Like, there were there was like fucking. I was at work like all right Thursday can't come any fucking faster now. Thursday can't come. <laughs> You're uh, at work Monday morning at eight fifteen. All right, right fifteen right, minutes right. past. Thursday yeah, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday night comes. And I would tell myself, all right, we'll be here until about 10 or 11. You know me and you both got to work tomorrow. No, we would say until 1. Yeah. <laughs> got to be up at 5.30. Yeah, yeah. Got to be up at 5.30 and, you know, wouldn't get home until about 1.30. Wouldn't go to bed until about 2, maybe 2.30. Sometimes you stay yeah. the, Sometimes the best scaring comes at the end of the night. Yeah. We'll check for you, too. Yeah. You, you had the patch. You went 20 times. Mm-hmm. Did you guys see Pop It Up? Yes. Squad. Dude, yeah. Pop It Up was the best show announced. They need to yeah. bring it back next year. I, 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 I was disappointed how they ended the hanging this year. You know, I always wanted, the one thing I never got to do at Haunt that I always wanted to do is I always wanted to write the hanging. And I've talked to people about that and, and, and the roles that might be able to make things happen and like, I, I mean, I've never been able to. But I'm kind of only attending because I've always wanted to kind of help write the hanging. I've heard different theories per se about what's going to happen with it. A lot of people are saying that it's going to be one of those things where maybe they're ending the pop culture era of it and bringing back the stunt show era of hmm. it. Well, whatever they decide to do, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be supporting. I'll, I'll just say this, though. Like, that is one of the... That's half... It's a staple. That was, like, 50% of why I would come to Not Scared. To watch the hanging. Just to hang on. Because yeah. you, you want to see, all right, what are they going to make fun of this year that I will understand? Right. What are they going to freaking... Who are they going to hang? Yeah. You know, who's who's gonna get freaking blasted on like crazy? In 2010, they hung Rebecca Black for two weekends, and they're like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, and then she's you know, fourteen. Then they swapped it up. Yeah. 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 I remember that one. Yeah, uh, yeah. you're right. Friday's she's... such a hit. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. No joke. I was supposed to be in that music video. I'm friends with. I was yeah, friends with Rebecca Black, yeah. and I got. I went to Knott's Berry Farm with my friends instead, and I was this close. I was like, "Oh, I'll let you know." Went to Knott's Berry Farm instead. Low key, right now, kind of upset. I you went to Knott's and said, "But dude, that just shows the fandom." That's right. Yeah. No, because don't, don't be mad about no, that. I would, I would have been a staple, man. I would have rocked the show. Kicking in the show. Kicking in the backseat. I'm saying, I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> this guy knows where to. Fucking love it, dude. Oh, you like that? Go to Disneyland with this guy. What? What? What are you gonna do? Oh, what are you gonna rehearse? Everything? Are you gonna say everything? Let's just say when we go on the Little Mermaid ride. Oh, you know it. Oh, the entirety, bro. Are you the guy that's in the that's in the room behind Mansion? You rehearse the whole fucking. Hey, this be honest. I hate that ride. He hates that ride. Oh, well, really? Why? Why would you ride it because he likes it? Why? Do you, you just not like scary shit or what? No, I'm like terrified. <laughs> I'm, 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 you fall asleep at haunt. You can't be that scared. <laughs> and I was like, dude, it's a Disney fucking ride. They're not going to pop out of you like they did in the fucking 60s. You should bring one of those neck pillows on an airplane to knots, dude. And just say, like, oh, I have neck issues. I need it. And then just fucking sleep around knots, man. You could go so, work to dude, haunt, dude. Go work haunt and make your character be a fucking rock. It got to and the just point. Go to lay place. <laughs> where, like, he would be, he would be very, he would be very skeptical about where we were in Ghost Town, and he like be on guard most of the time. When we finally went to the hollows to sit down. He took a fat fucking nap because he knew he was like, oh, he's gonna be filming. He won't call anyone to scare me, and I didn't. But now it's like we're making, we're we're making, we're we have this network going. A lot of people know who we are. Yeah. A lot of people have heard this story now. Right, right, right. Like he said, take the neck pillow and just start an album. Just like the many places I've slept at night. Yeah, yeah. Like take pictures just, throughout. Just like, pictures at, like, I'll, I'll, I'll do the photography part. Yeah, what up? It's Friday night. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping in a. 
I'm sleeping in Gypsy Camp tonight. <laughs> what a, I'm here. They got the hay bales here. I'm here. This is my yeah, spot. Yeah, you need to be safe right there too because there's no monsters there. I'm actually. sleeping at the windbearer right now. This is kind of whoppin' on my right. Yeah, dude. That'd be <laughs> they catch me sleeping on the sky. Oh, here's the cameo from Hostel. Yeah, yeah. Sleeping right now, right next to Hostel over here. But yeah, dude. Honestly, it's like I'm not. Make that a thing. If, 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 if you if you slept, I saw you sleeping. I would for sure grab a marker and let try to do some shit. It's not anything provocative. I would just make myself. Now I'd probably sign it like Pops Just right. Or something. Yeah. Right, yeah. everyone's gonna write their series. I am encouraging all monsters next year. If you see this, <laughs> still in trouble. Every, every time you get red on, you have to keep it with every night on. <laughs> yeah, it's like a battle scar. It's like it's like something scar. else to put on your belt, right? Your utility oh, belt. Of I mean, yeah. it's just it's been fun this year. We've met so many great people. Yeah, no, definitely. And we love meeting new people, hearing yeah. the stories, and I think that's why I want to keep doing this every year. It's because you definitely should. It's not. It's not. I mean, even if we get the same people on for next year, it's like. They're they're gonna have new stories or like something mm -hmm. they didn't they didn't want they didn't say the first time around. You guys but got any Gary on? I'm telling you, man. If you can get spaz on this, I'll come on. We'll come on with spaz. Right? It'll, it'll be it'll be, be a story 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 story. Is that guy, dude. Spaz is like. There's a reason it's not named Spaz. He's still recording. Go ahead and come through. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got it. But yeah, yeah it's it's one of those things where we just we love having live studio audience by the way there we go yeah. <laughs> live live audience, audience, man. oh yeah. um i'm gonna be playing a game with my girlfriend online there is that gonna pick it up uh, no okay and if it does i'm sorry you're gonna go viral <sighs> hope you win man what are we playing what, what are we playing don't starve together oh don't starve what <laughs> don't starve together no, it's, a, a, it's, a game. it's a survival game with tim burton artwork just look it up it's really cool oh, I'm, I'm hey, right good now. luck man i hope you don't starve we will. I haven't played, I haven't played any Star Wars game, so. Uh, Fall in Order? Yeah. You're playing it right now? Don't fucking. You better not spoil it. No, no, you're playing it right now. Yeah, yeah. What do you think so far? I love it. Dude, okay. Side cameo, man. I love this. Side cameo? Oh, Todd, dude. You don't want to be a camera. It's okay. It's, all, it's your show. Are you going to be a camera? You can't. No, that's fine. I'm not on okay. But when you start a wrestling podcast, let me know. <laughs> it's in the works, maybe. Hey, have a good night, man. I hope you don't starve, even though you say you're going to. I promise to. nothing. <laughs> So check this out. So check this. It's like 2015. Maybe no, it was 2014 because Nolan was there. Maybe yeah. 2014. Yeah. 2013 something. 2014. Yeah. Knotts, you know, has celebrities come and do guest spots and scare, and it's super cool. And in one of those years, I had uh, Vanessa Hudgens came, and I was selected uh, to, to to scare with her. So it was me. Um, I, I asked if my buddy Nolan could come, so my buddy Nolan came with me. who was on Ghost Town just that year, two years, but he was on Ghost Town that year. And it was Gecko and Antho and uh, a character named Jabberjaw. No, no, no one there. Oh, no one. Yeah, no one. Yeah. So it was like a spy. And anyway, they're like, uh, you know, you gotta go meet Vanessa, and then we're gonna take her onto the streets in full costume. And you got your job is going to be <clears throat> to scare around her, because they have people in like ghillie suits up on the roof filming because you know if you walk out there with a big ass camera people are gonna be like whoa who is this and yeah crowd it and do this whole thing so they have people hidden in trees like fucking snipers filming this shit <laughs> <laughs> i swear to god yeah i feel like that's in vietnam so <laughs> they're like sniper. okay so your job is to scare kind of on the outskirts not necessarily be in the in the frame but scare on the outskirts so that by the time guests get to her they're already terrified that all she has to do is like something easy and they'll be scared yeah so my job was to like prep that guest right and so they're like, you're gonna be out there for like three hours in the same spot, which is brutal to me because just yeah, bird takes for around. three hours, dude. It's like fuck. But anyway, I was happy to do it. I was stoked to do it. So they're like, okay, go meet Vanessa. So we walk in there, and they're all in cotton. You know, I mean, you guys, I'm sure, I'm sure you see, I've seen Antho and Gecko. They're like full characterization all the time. Me, I'm, I'm just here for the party. You know? <laughs> So we walk in there, and they're like, that's gonna be another quote we gotta put on the shirt. By the way, I'm just here for the party. That's what it's all about. We're making, baby. We're making a. Sorry, sidetrack. It's fun. We made an All Hell Breaks Loose tour. That was what we called our tour this year because we went to all the haunts. <laughs> That's uh, we had all the dates on the back. Like That's a tour sweet. T-shirt. We're making a set list shirt, and it's been all the quotes that we have. He's actually writing it down. That's right fucking dope. We That's have, like, awesome. We have, like twenty or so quotes that we're gonna put on that was just our favorite haunt quotes. I just want to party. It's all about the party, bro. And that's gonna be one of them. Fuck all right, yeah. back to the well. Story. So so anyway, uh, I go in there to meet her, and and they're filming us interacting with her. And you can see it's all on YouTube because Entertainment Tonight filmed it, so yeah. it was on TV. You can see it. And I think my she comes up and she's in character and Antho and Gecko like you know you gotta you gotta walk you gotta you know how to add how to kind of show her how to talk and things like that and it gets to my part about advice and I'm just like very normally I'm like oh, I'm just fucking like looking in the eyes 
people don't like their feet touch, so you know, touch feet. <laughs> I'm giving you probably very bad advice to be honest with you. <laughs> but uh, you know, so so they they start getting her in makeup and they're about to move her into birdcage. And another reason that park maintenance probably wasn't my biggest fan is I used to I used to and I saw this from Jeff Starr, who's an old school monster called Monstar, probably one of the best sliders ever to to do it. Um, back in his youth days and I used to come watch him scare with trash can lids and so I would do the same thing since I was a possum so I would take the top of, off of like the barrel trash cans and I would run and put my gloves away and, or hide them in a bush and go and slide with the trash can lid because it made a great noise and then I would put it around my head and walk around with it because it <laughs> smelled and I was a possum and it's trash it just made sense yeah. and part made sense like that because I would destroy the property which I totally understand by the way totally get it totally get it Shouldn't have done that. And uh, so finally I told my Cassie, my Cassie was like, hey, like, you need to cut that out, no more slamming trash can lids. So I'm like, work, okay, I need you, I feel you, I, I will. So we're in Birdcage getting prepped. And they said, all right, uh, well, we got about 15, 20 more minutes. And this is like Friday. Yeah. So me and Nolan go, okay, well, can we just go out and scare? Because we've been waiting backstage for like an hour. Like, let's go. Like, they're like, okay, go out. So me and him go out, we're scared. Just because we want to start scaring. And then they finally, they bring her out. And the way that they would do it is she would, we would scare people. They would get to her. She would scare them. If they were terrified, they would bring them back into birdcage, and then they would bring her and do an unveil, pop her mask out, and be like, "Even the Hodgins," and we'll be like, "Oh shit," you know. And they film it. So if you watch the Entertainment Tonight clip, the only footage that they have of me scaring is the one time I took a trash can lid <laughs> and slid it right up to the person, and then put it over my neck and got everyone monsters around her to hold hands, and we were going to do a ring around the rosy around her. Uh, around the guest. And that's the only thing you see on television. So I'm sitting there watching Entertainment Tonight, fired up, I get to see myself, and I'm like, yo, like, what, what's it gonna be? Like, how's it gonna go now? And the only clip that they have that you can find on YouTube is me with a trash can lid, scaring with it. <laughs> so what? And, it the, and the next day, well, you know, a lot of fun stuff. But <laughs> that was the one thing that, and so right when it aired, my buddy Nolan texts me immediately and goes, dude, your ass is on blast on national television. And I'm like, fuck. I get in the next day, my cast lead's like, no more trash can lids. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Got her respect. And then, and then, I mean, her shout out to her sister, uh, you know, she she was there with her and kind of looked like an annoying teenager sitting on the side watching. And our job was also to scare people who were staring because, you know, we don't want people grouping. And she was just sitting there and she wouldn't leave. And I don't know who she was. So I went out that store and I'm trying to like spit on her and like put my hair in her hair and annoy her so she can leave. And she finally, she's like, I'm Vanessa Hudgens' sister. It's cool. And I was like, oh. All right, all right. <laughs> so she goes backstage and she goes on the Birdcage Theater stage. At that time, there wasn't a show in there. And she's in there backstage with us. And her and her friend are on the stage, like dancing and twerking or whatever. And me and Nolan are like, let's go party with these girls. So we jump on the stage, we're partying with them, mm -hmm. and they're all cool. And now she follows me on Instagram, and we're tied. She's commenting on my pictures. Shout out. Yeah. Uh, she's my girl. Shout out to her. Um, but no, that, that, was a, that was a fun little story that, that I had. But uh, yeah, that's. That, that's, you know, not stuff that kind of stuff where they bring celebrities and do that whole scary. I got to meet Zach Bagans last year, that was sweet. My name is Zach Bagans. From yeah. Ghost Adventures, dude, he went through Paranormal. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's ironic. I was so pumped, dude. I watched him on the cameras in the back of Paranormal and hitting him with air cannons. <laughs> so you can control those in Paranormal in the back. The techs control the air cannons. So I'm just like blasting Zach Bagans. Like, oh, shit. Watching your You played the Ghost Network, fucker. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ghost. <laughs> this shit. This shit, man. Yeah. Um, let's hear the story about you guys, man. Oh. To kind of end it on oh, like, a nice yeah, story. Yeah. Why it kind of. You kind of got yeah, it out. I mean, you got touched. Uh, I was saying, me and Aaron literally. We're just was, some kids that met online. Yeah, you know. It's actually, <laughs> actually Neopets, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah we're just a penguin. Oh, a penguin, dude. Yeah, dude we penguin. met in the comment section of Pornhub, actually. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <I mean, laughs> You know, browsing nice. the same, our, our favorites, you know? We, we had similar interests, we found out. Like, hey, you good? He's in the, 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 the midget section, he was like, oh, oh shit! shit. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You bust a Latina gets what you came for. Yeah. 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 I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. What you say? Four finishes? Oh, my God. I'm like, I gotta what you say? What'd you say? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. No, but it was, uh... After I said all my updates, so the, the big thing I haven't really mentioned either too, so Knott's caught wind of my updates. 
and they actually sent four monsters to my middle school nice. to kidnap me. Like, while school was, like, a school had just I think got I may out of session. That that's on yeah. YouTube, yeah. It's on YouTube. The other one with, like, they're in the, there's, I think I may have seen that video, like, that, not even lying, like, yesterday. Yeah, in the quad, yeah, that's me. Is that the one where they're, like, yelling at, like, everyone, like, where is this kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, him, that's me. That's the 13 year old boy. Yeah. So they did that, so that became like a big thing. So, and then all the monsters started knowing me, all this stuff, and I got like, you know, I got to know a lot of these people. And then it was December of 2010, I get a message from this dude, Top Maui, wants to do updates and how like he's a big Nazi and all this stuff. And so we just started messaging back and forth. I had just gone to my first slider practice because I got invited to them, so I was getting to that. And so I was like, dude, come out. So it was actually, I don't know if you guys know the monster Skidda. So he, the, the Green Goblin. Green before. Goblin. Before. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. got he's got videos on YouTube. Yeah, watch those YouTube videos. Probably, one of, the, fire probably one of the most badass monsters. But we ended up running a side of practice. There was me, Aaron, him, and Angie. Angie. And then, was it Popeye there? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So that's how we got to know each other. And then from there, we brought in two more of our good friends, Evan and. Uh, yeah, shout Evan. out to the FM Sliders. FM Sliders. Anyone can see opportunity, you know, especially those who are fans of Decay Brigade and like seeing slideshows and stuff like that. Check out our friends, FM Sliders. They don't do videos anymore, not since like 2015. 11. 11? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They yeah. started the, they yeah. Yeah. longer than you yeah. thought, man. They never did anything past those all. Well, every month for like seven months, they, they would come to Slidercrats and film like stuff and then put it to choreographed music. It's it, it's so dope. Yeah. There's awesome. And we're in there sliding. Yeah. Check those guys out. Nice. FM Sliders. They're yeah. awesome. Some solid videos. We brought them along too with us. And then the four of us, those, we'll call ourselves like the YouTube like OGs, which is Aaron, myself, Nick, and Evan. We got a chance to work Empty Grave, and through that we got to know our friend Angela, our friend Matt, Seabass, uh, all these people, and then kept carrying on. Aaron went to Haunt, and so we were already friends with a lot of people from Haunt, and then from there just started kind of pulling in people, and got to know Vi, got to know Lucio. Um, it just kind of became one giant family. Mm -hmm. so all, all through all through the power of YouTube. All through the power of YouTube. All the power of YouTube and the power of the Haunt community. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, oh, babe, I did it. Yeah. You put the bow on it, that's how I know why. Um, <laughs> I like remember like I don't kinda of remember it much, but I um, remember when like it was two thousand thirteen because I wasn't I didn't know much people, but Andros was like um, this the old sheriff before Brett was. Yeah. Um, he uh, he like kinda of introduced me to like, some other people, like when I started and then I that's why that's when I kind of got into like got myself to like know Vi and then uh, Jessica which her name her own name was Wiggles mm -hmm. um, which was two great people that I got to know them really well um, I was close to them and then um, I like that Nolan was around and then they start to like Aaron was around too I didn't know much but like I kind of like was like cool each of friends with him and then um, but like I already talked to him but then like the next the next year after is when uh, we used to sit in this area in this like in our break room and it was like and I used to sit right next to Vi all the time because I that's the only person I knew I didn't know no one else yeah and um, and then after like Vi because Vi started talking to him mm -hmm. talking to Aaron and uh, uh, James and um, An uh, Angie and don't all James. yeah don't ask James all the time and then I was like I would sit by myself but just was doing my thing, like, you know, getting ready to go scare, and then um, all of a sudden this guy, uh, which we're really good friends with, and rest in peace for him, it was uh, Gabriel, came through and then just said, like, was just talking to me, just know, like knowing who I was, and then he was a dentist, uh, and he, um, which got, he got my haunt name, by the way, he gave me my haunt name, Hostel, because I look like Eli Roth. <laughs> you do Eli Roth. Roth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, then he would tell, he told Gary, which Gary was like the approval one. Gary was like, yeah, I would agree with that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're the bear, bear you're the bear Jew, man. The bear Jew, man. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, <laughs> he, so he introduced me to like, he were, were Aaron sat at, and like, that's when I knew Aaron a little bit. And then I remember like, then that's when I like, I started to like, get to know him and scare with them. Cause I asked like, if you guys don't mind, they're like, oh, like Aaron was cool. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I was like, oh man, come on back, come on back. And then uh, I remember oh, he did. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, I honestly thought they were, I thought they were like, like, cocky dick people. And I was like, I don't want to sit right next to them. I'll just sit in my corner <laughs> where like, I'll sit right where across the spaz, like where spaz is at, and like Ed Cobb had like a spot, and I'll sit right next to him. Yeah. And I'll just sit in my own corner. I'm like, 
like and I also ran next to Vi too and, and uh, Jessica um, but I remember one night he uh, when Aaron took me home after this like food like this after haunt uh, breakfast thing we had it was like, literally right after haunt we, we used to do for like a while um, and then Aaron took me home in this <laughs> What was up? your beat up card yet? Oh, dude, the Cavalier, bro. Yeah, Cavalier. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, this was stories in that fucking card. Yeah, that Cavalier was dope. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that, that, like, I remember that because he had that. He had the Ghost Town sticker like on the oh, side, yeah. left side, and yeah, then yeah. like he, we would talk, like we were talking about like haunt, and then like then he just like shook my hand. He said, "I hope you come back next year." I was like, "Thanks." <laughs> that's why I told. Him, that's why I knew I was gonna be. That's why I was gonna be best friends with him, though. And then like Wyatt showed up, and then I thought Wyatt was like the cool guy to be around because I heard he was a YouTuber. And then came in, he's like, he came in like he came, in, he came in warrior. Yeah, he came in naturally, and that was like cool. Right. Yeah. That's where we just naturally just became good friends, and he's, he became one of my good friends too. So. I dig it, man. Uh, I dig it. I don't really have much to add because they both just wrapped it up. But yeah, I've been tell talking you that, enough today. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can tell you though that like all these guys are are, are are great. This is my fucking I have to tell you that these guys are great monsters, right? I draw. I, I mean, I get fired up every night to go out there, not just from the fans, but the, the, the you know the people. You know, you are who you surround yourself with to an extent. The same goes for haunt, right? You know, not saying that people are bad. Don't surround with bad people. I'm just saying, like, if you're a monster of a certain energy caliber or a certain scare technique, surround yourself with like-minded people because they're going to keep bumping you up. And like you're saying, you know, maybe I, you know, certain people seem a little cocky or arrogant or whatever, but. That was my character. My character was like that. My character was like, yo, I'm gonna go out there and dominate. I want you to be better than me. I want you to scare better than me. So I, iron sharpens iron, right? That's I think how I got it really, is. That's why I really got, like, I started liking you know, him because he started to be more fired up. This, like, energetic guy. I was like, I want, I want some of that. I want some of that <laughs> some energy. Of that. Some of that energy from him. Like, where do you get it? Then I just ran with him one night. And then that's where, like, we became good friends. And that's, that's the passing technique, bro. If you can keep up, Let's fucking go. Let's party. That's yeah, how it is, dude. It's not as good, but miles an hour every yeah, I, saw him, I, I don't know how I do it, but I think I, I got part you. of them. I got from you them, probably though. did. Yeah, I probably did. And then give me too much credit, man. I can't do what he does. Yeah, I can't do what he does. Yeah, but like he had nights where he would just intensely just like do lots and lots. And I was like, I'm gonna do that too, but you know, but, but it's naturally just came out of it. Yeah, uh, but they did great. And I, I mean, I'm not by any means the 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 uh, architect. That or like, yeah, I'm not some bad scientist, but I'm also not like the the the, the pinnacle of what like a, approval. Is. I'm just saying like, I think they're fucking dope. They scare well. We had a lot of good talent the years I was on Ghost Town. Very fortunate to be there, um, you know. And anytime you scare, you want to try to inspire some people. And that's just how it was out there. I can yeah. feel it at this table. Man. The love is there, man. The brotherhood is there. The, the freaking bond is there. You guys met each other at this event, um, and you guys just. Stuff to it since then. Yeah, man. yeah. It's yeah. been it's been like that. Like I remember when you wanted to come on the show, he texted me. And said, I got Aaron on the show, and I was like, Oh, all right. Who's Aaron? <laughs> and then, and then I learned that. I yeah. learned to learn forever, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And then, he, and then I, I followed him. And he followed me back, and I was like, Oh, okay, that's Aaron. I was like, Can't wait to talk to this guy. Yeah. Normal looking dude. Normal looking like, dude, right, but like yeah. he was a he's a just normal looking dude. Just here, have a good time. Like you want, you I told you, you want some stories. Like go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Now you want even more stories. stories. Get Gary on. Get the Gary show. on there. Yeah, do this get all with Gary, bro. I'm telling you, you will yeah. not. Yeah, we're telling you the past. I was talking with AJ to kind of do a like for one of the last ones ever to get like an all star fucking panel just going, just everyone we've had. Yeah. And I was like, that could easily be a fucking like eight hour. Get spent. Yeah. Get spent. I'm telling you. Got that's gonna be a. Then, we're like talking God, 24 right. hours. Not it's gonna be a 24 hour pod. <laughs> I would, I would pod. love to like if we ever if, if we could ever get the the status of like high up there. I would love to fucking rent out one night. The Charles M. Schultz Theater just have a fucking grand panel just to scare actors. Mm, yeah. You know, I, I know they kind of do something similar at Scare LA, or no, they do it with designers, right? Yeah. Or do they do it with monsters this year? No? Well, they even uh, did it at. Well, maybe a, just a giant yeah. summer. They did, oh, yeah, they did oh. at Haunted X or something like that. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. They had like four people, like it was like the Mummy, like Jasper, Ruth, yeah. um, Otis, and uh, Chris, uh, the Goblin. Yeah. yeah, they had a bunch of people like that, but they. they you know, yeah. that would be great for something I mean, like yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't get to rise my attention. I was like, oh my god, I don't have enough fucking equipment for that. Yeah, <laughs> but like, yeah. that's 
the guy in DMA, and well, the fact that your mind is in that spot just means yeah. that you want to grow and, and keep I doing do. this shit, which is cool, man, because some kid in Florida might hear this shit and be like, yo, that's what I'm doing, I'm going to visit nonsense here. Some you know? kid in Florida might hear this shit and might want to do it out in Florida. Yeah. yeah. My, my, the we vision. Got two, got two minutes. Two minutes? I can say this one in two minutes. My vision for this is I want more shit like this to happen. Yeah. Fractured Compass is doing it right now. They got like five characters that they had on. Mm-hmm. It's something small, but it's a start. Yeah. I think what we're doing is we're kind of changing the industry of not only should we just have one scare, but let's do a month long of this. Let's do a month long of this because yeah. we can hear different stories. We can hear different people's perspectives on Han. We can hear even from different events. We had someone from the Hayride this year that we that oh we sweet and loved. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. it's just it's a multi. It's just where we can bring everyone together and just talk. yeah, bridge the gap. Yeah. 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 Do y'all want to plug in? You guys got any things you guys want to plug in? I'm gonna plug Dick Wolf. Shout out to him. <laughs> nice, dude. He's got Law and Order, dun, dun. Chicago Fire, and PD. Nice, dude. Blue Bloods. Yeah, like, is that Dick Wolf? Yeah, it's all Dick Wolf. Shout out to Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods. Dude. I'm saying, dude, Dick Whoa. Wolf. Shout out to him. I know my dad's watching. My dad likes that all them cops. Dude, shows. my dad's a huge Law and Order fan. My dad loves Blue Bloods. That's for you or original? Original. Come on. Okay, SVU's no, no, great. I'm with you. I'm you got Steve. Steve's not yeah, yeah. I go real. Yeah, I watch cops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the Ice Tea. Ice Tea. It's good. Whatever Ice Tea. They get sweaty. Whatever Ice Tea. He's like shows up. Whatever Ice Tea is in, bro. Let's. Shout out to our, you know, our buddies. I said FM Slider. Shout out to the royalty crew. Um, y'all know who you are. Um, Dude, empty grave. Oh, empty grave. Shout out to them. Do you know who they are? Uh, I want to, huh? So they know who they are. Oh, man. I said, do you know? I was like, yeah, we're good. Do you know? <laughs> no, I do. Uh, and then, sh- honestly, shout out to the management at Haunt, because I, I know now what it's like to, to be a management at Haunt. It's, it's tough and it's hard. Yeah. And you got yeah, personalities to deal with. Yeah, a lot of people to deal with. The hell out of you yeah, guys. I respect the hell out of you guys too. Shout out to the management at Haunt and, and every single monster that made this event awesome. It made me fall in love with it and these guys too. And uh, Brandon Pasta, shout out to you guys for continuing to, to, to manage the entire fucking thing because it's tough. Yeah. Um, and to my paranormal crew, Roll Tide, you know what the vibes are. Also to Nancy. We love you, Nancy. Shout out to my mom, apparently, <laughs> for birthing me. <laughs> Thanks, mom, for birthing me. Appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, Any more plugs? Not for us. Shout out to Purified Water. Purified Water. I got Smart Water. Shout out to Smart Shout out to Vlad. I love your plugins. Mm-hmm. My room smells like a... Uh, Do you want to hit us Ash. up with a sponsor for the you know, next year's character Who? appreciation month? Ash- Ashen? Oh, shout out to Ashley. Oh, shout out to Ashley. Shout out to Ashley. It's her birthday today. Shout out to Ashley. Wow. Shout out to my brother's girlfriend, Ashlyn. It's your birthday tonight. I know you're probably not going to watch this, but still, I, shout I out to you. Coming from a big fan from their podcast. Shout, exactly. shout out to Paige, right? And James. What's your name? Plug that. It's all laughing for the wrong reasons. We just get together and then bullshit. How did you do it? Yeah. Huh? We I haven't done it. We haven't done it a while just because Han stuff and the normal life came to play. But, you know, I think we're going to pick you up again soon. But, What's it yeah. on? What's, huh? on? What's it on? It's just, it's just a bus. Oh, it's on SoundCloud. It's yeah. It's just us just talking about our daily lives and general shit. A lot of funny stories. A lot of funny, lot of funny shit that we do. Yeah, yeah. But, and laughing then, at the wrong reasons. Laughing for the wrong reasons. Laughing for the wrong reasons. Yeah. And then also shout out to these guys. Yes. Like, hey, subscribe, hey, share, do the whole so bit. Yeah. It's not about us. It's about hey guys, y'all. Guys that's Gary Farmerler here. I just want to say we really appreciate <laughs> these two. <laughs> no, we do. Thank you. Honestly, guys, thank you. Like, thank this you is so awesome. much. Thank you. Thank you. So we usually end it with the uh, a love letter that we like to kind of give to all those characters, which is we appreciate everything you guys put into these events. We appreciate all the blood, sweat, and tears that go into these events. We just love going every night to the event, seeing something new, seeing something that goes over the top, the production design, everything that goes into these events every night. I don't know what's going on in there. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's some fun. We got shit that video that we commented yeah. on the other day. He's probably. I hope that audio picked it up because that's going to be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Hey, they're not starving to death in there. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Um, but it, it's just, uh, we love um, having characters on the show because we like to hear stories. We like to hear how people prepare for the event. We like to hear how you guys uh, have different experiences of the event. Um, and this, I can tell you right now, is the longest and probably one of our favorite episodes that we've done. Thus far. It's fucking good. Um, so congratulations on being the longest for this season thus far. Um, uh, that's that's cool. Uh, you guys can keep going, and I, I appreciate that because um, some people come on just they don't know what to, to do, they don't know what to expect, 
and they, you know they start they start slow, but then they they they, they you know they go up at the end. What do I do with my hands? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what to do with my hands, so you're gonna just put them there and just boom, and there you go. Um, no, but we we appreciate you guys very much. We appreciate all the work that you guys do. Uh, we appreciate putting on helping put on some of the best fucking shows in the world. Yeah. That we like to call what home. they did and what I mean, what you're currently yeah. doing. What he's currently doing, what we did. Yeah. Who knows? Like we always yeah. say, we don't look at you guys as monsters. In the end of the day, we look at you guys as our heroes because you guys bring a lot of these fucking nightmares to life, and we appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm a terrible hero to have, but I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're you're not even not, a hero at this point. You're a fucking role model. I'm not, I'm not the after. one you want to role model your life after. But you know what? I appreciate you guys. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to find love? Go after her. You want to <laughs> jump off of a roof naked, maybe with your dick hanging out of a pool or something? Some shit. Ben Let Flynn? me know. I'll be your guy. How are you, bro? We'll get, we'll get crazy. Um, what was it? Bailey Flynn? I said Bailey Frank. Ba- my, my brother. Shout out to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family just giving that shout out. Mail dog. Shout out to Mail dog. Lobo. Can't forget about my dog. Cat. My literal dog, Lobo. Not just my You're dog. You're going to be watching this. So. I probably. He's a big con. He does. Yeah. yeah, honestly, I appreciate that, guys. No. Shout out to y'all because no one, literally no one would be working at Haunt if fans didn't go. Yeah, that's it. The day, like, that's, it's, it's, that's true. And <laughs> it was something that when we decided we wanted to do this, it was going to be just four people, and we scouted out. And towards the end of the season, we actually had people messaging us that they wanted to be on the show. And to get feedback like that, it like we're starstruck because yeah. it's like it means the world to us. It does yeah, mean the world to us yeah. that people want to come on and share their stories. Uh, people like Aaron, actually, who, who you know, who see it was like, oh, Aaron wants to be on the show. And I'm like, oh, cool. I'm like, I'm, let's let's do it. Let's set it up. And Aaron messages me like the next day, hey, like I'm interested in being on the show. I'm like, yeah, dude. Like, let's fucking set it up. And here we are. <laughs> I I love talking shop, man. These guys do too. I know, you know, we get together in like normal life. It's always do we right try to talk right. about half about? No, you know, we have normal lives, normal yeah, conversations. Right. Just, it gets brought it up. It happens, you know. It yeah. Yeah. It's in your blood. Here we are. Yeah. Like I said, appreciate you guys. The least we could do is bring you some gifts and stuff. That and, was uh, very nice of you. Yeah, yeah. Of course, do that. guys. Like, awesome. you know, I know why has a bunch of shit too. He probably would have brought like and a lot of shit. We're here to give back. back. If it's not for you guys, we don't have a job, and it's all about giving back. That's yeah, literally what we really, about. We really appreciate everything you guys do, and uh, yeah, we can't wait to do this again next year because I can only imagine that after the feedback we've been getting, people were gonna a lot of people who didn't get the opportunity to come on this year. We would love to have him for next year. So yeah, okay, even even, you, even you guys are welcome back next year. Well, thanks. I appreciate so, that. I, I uh, can't wait to see you guys out there watching yeah. and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. Neck pillow. Neck pillow. That's, 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 pillow. that's like that's a staple for his character. Yeah, yeah, you are the sleeper of Ghost Town. Sleeper of Ghost Town, dude. Yeah. The Sandman of Ghost Town, dude. It's Sandman like Ghost Town. yo. It's a good idea. It's a good Just idea. walk around throwing sand in people's eyes. <laughs> it's fucking debilitating. <laughs> um, gentlemen, we appreciate you being on the show today. Thank you for having yeah, us. Fucking amazing Thank time. You. Um, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Nights of Four, uh, on Instagram at The Nights of Four. Uh, we have a Patreon if you guys are feeling extra little generous from a dollar all the way up to $20. Um, or more? No, we don't do more. But, uh, oh, really? Not more no, than 20 No, more than 20 We, we, we Pay about me 100 I'll give him $20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can't pass up. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, if you guys are feeling generous, we would really appreciate it. But if not, uh, subscribe, comment, and like just is enough for us because uh, we do it for the fans. We do it because we like doing what we do. And the end of the day, whether we'd be burnt out or stressed, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, I know I get to do an interview with these characters. And, I just and they scare it. because they care. That's right? our motto for the thing. They <laughs> scare because they care. Yeah, it's all about the party, man. Yeah, it's all about the party, man. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching another episode of Scare Actor Appreciation Month. If you made it to the very end, um, because I know this is a very long episode. <laughs> no, no, we did. If you made it this far, like, high five to you. High five to you. Yeah, we can't just fart. You're the super bottom sweet, number. Sweet, sweet, that's that's right. sweet. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We have more guests. We have a couple. We have about a week left of this, and I hope you guys enjoy every single moment of it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.